Jane, oh, no, you're so Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Thank you, Teleprompter 312, yeah. for resubscribing. Yep. Right in the intro. <laughs> That's funny. It's a good time. Started talking in the intro. <laughs> Ding. Uh, today, we're going to be playing, for the first time ever, officially, yep. on the show, Atari 5200 <gasps> Ooh, games. Ooh. So let's put this up. Very nice. There we go. Very nice. Haircut, but not short. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, I'm growing it out long. So if you want to see what I'm aiming for, just do a search for Viking haircut. <laughs> they have are you short gonna on the me, sides. Are you going to let me braid it all the way back? Sure. It's not okay. quite long enough for braiding. Yeah, just tiny good. braids. Yeah, you can yeah. do braids. Yeah. That blue is pretty. Yes, yes. it is. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very nice. Are you talking about her? <laughs> or the sign. No, no, the sign, sign. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah I'm like, the Atari 5200. Yeah. yeah, it's really, really nice. Uh, yes, I recently got back my 5200 from Jesse at Ivory Tower Yay! Collections. It's been upgraded, <clears throat> as he says. Yeah. Um, he's like, I don't like modded. I like upgraded, which it is because it has better video output. That's right. By default, of course, they come with RF output. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one's been upgraded to... S video, nice. also composite as well. Nice. Um, and also the power adapter has been upgraded, but we'll get into that. Blue is the official at, uh, color of Atari 5200. Oh, okay. Well, they chose correctly then. Mm -hmm. uh, Tanya looks nice though, too. Oh, well, yes. thanks. <laughs> so I'm very glad that Phaser Cat Games is here because we're going to be playing three of his games. Yay! He is the uh, pretty much one of the only people yeah. who makes original games for the Atari 5200. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of conversions mm. from the Atari 8-bit uh, computers, but very few original 5200 only games, and he's one of the only people who does it. Um, so thank you, Ryan, for supplying us with all these games we're going to be awesome. playing tonight. We're going to be playing Robin Banks, his brand new game. Nice. Uh, playing the retail version of it. Nice, nice, nice. Which is right here. There we go. This cat is very vocal right now. <laughs> it's like, feed me. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be playing IntelliDiscs, the retail version of that as well. Mm -hmm. There's the box. Very nice. And another uh, third game of his <laughs> called Rat Catcher. Nice. And uh, we're also going to be playing Atari Blast at the end, a very cool shooter. Cool. Uh, and that's by Paul Lay, Playsoft. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm -hmm. scrolling down mm -hmm. beside Tanya. All the fur, Andrew Davy, Armscar, Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Knight, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, Beer, Pocock, Caffeman, 2D Shaw, Sidani Mao, Charles and Check, Charles Wynn, Chitlet Law, Colonel Lama, Dianoid, Dan, Daryl, 1978, M, uh, Dr. Mook, Howes, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ivory Dark Collections, Johnny WC, Joker, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Andes, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Mr. Command, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic Power Rack, VG, Cohog, RC70, Render Ghost, Bentley, VG, Ricardo Pimps, Smitty B, Spoked, Spiceware, That's Ramirez, The D Train, Lost Cartridge, The Welshman, 89, T Dan K, Track MD, 2600, X, Ken X. And I want to thank also. Uh, Rendered Ghost, Atari 800 XL Rules, RC70, Ricardo Pim, and Teleprompter 312 wow. for subscribing yeah. just before the show. Nice. Thank you so yeah. much to everyone who supports the show. And if you want to subscribe, click subscribe. Nice. It's free with Amazon Prime or not free without it. Vicious cat. Vicious kitten. You're going to subscribe? He says, no, I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm just a cat. Just a kitten. Um... We do have a poll topic today. It is uh, on topic. Let's start the poll. Mm -hmm. Very straightforward. Do you have an Atari 5200? Because mm. we do now. I actually have three of them. Um, but this one is the upgraded one. <laughs> you have three? Uh, yeah. Two <laughs> other ones are two ports. And this is a four port one. Mm. Um, do you have an Atari 5200? One, have one. Two, want to get one. And three, not interested in one. Mm. Oh, Ivory Tower Collections one ups me. Yes, beats so, you. Beats you. So, oh, there we go. Uh, one, one, one. Oh, a bunch of ones. So people do have 5200s. Yeah. That's great. I didn't know how prevalent they were mm. in the community. Yeah. 
uh, how many people had them. So yeah, a bunch of people watching the show do have them. Two port and a four port, uh, and not one but two new in box trackballs. <laughs> oh, I have zero. We should even that out. <laughs> um, so we've got one piece of news here, which is kind of cool for Jaguar people. Probably everyone who has a Jaguar or is interested in Jaguar already knows this. Came out yesterday or the day before. Um, there's a new emulator for Jaguar, mm -hmm. um, and it was sorely needed. Um, the Jaguar emulation was eh and slow so -so. and so-so. Yeah. Um, Rich uh, Whitehouse uh, released Big P EMU um, December 1st, yesterday. Uh, Big P EMU is the first Atari Jaguar emulator to feature, compatib feature compatibility with the entire retail cartridge library. 100% compatible with the original library, along with a very excellent performance and a wide variety of unique features. I've installed cool. it here. Where it works really well oh, good. on the original games. Homebrew, mm, so, so. hit and miss. Yeah. There was a couple homebrew that worked. Most of them just kind of went bleh and just a black screen. Um, but it's a great start and uh, they can build from there. And there's a bug report um, place where you can submit bugs. Um, feature list, Mail, download links, Mail, user Mail, manual are all here. Mail, Thank Mail, you. Mail, 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 Mail. For gifting a subscriber to Buck Owens. Thank you, Atari nice. 800 XL Rules. Good stuff. Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, the world's preferred large pussycat emulator for the Jaguar. <laughs> that's, what, that's what big P A E M U. Gotcha. Um, so you can see some of the screenshots there. Full compatibility, fast, accurate, better than hardware. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, uh, settings are exposed to overclock, underclock, each of the Jaguar cores is uh, able to adjust the speed and accuracy of other system components, enables you to play lots of Jaguar games, full 60 frames a second, save states, um, you can record your playing on it, um, let's see what else, driving controllers, rotary controllers, team tap are all, all, uh, available there. Um, some CRT filters, HDR support. Mm -hmm. So if you've got an HDR TV and you want to output the games to that, it's supported. Good stuff. Per game profile. So you wow. can set up each game to play a little bit differently with different uh, inputs. Inputs and Because some need yeah. different controllers. Maybe you like mm. a different controller on a different one. Well, that's cool. Fast forward capability, manipulate time, plugins, full of terrible secrets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't have Jaguar CD support. Uh, he's going to have uh, Jaguar VR support. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Jaglink support, greater accuracy, make it faster, developer builds, flexible scripting, ports. Uh, so it's just on Windows right now. So they're planning on to just Windows. put it on different platforms. Okay. I don't cool. know which one and when. Mac, yeah. Linux, don't know. Um, so there you go. It, uh, yeah, it plays really, really well. So, um, yeah. If you oh, don't have stuff. a Jaguar, now you can play Jaguar games mm. on your computer. Very nice. nice and easy. Mm. Um, yeah, that's all the news. So, let's learn about the 5200. Do I have one nearby? No, but I showed it off last. You can go look at pictures of it. We can, we'll look at pictures of it. I'm not going to detach that one. Well, you can just show it in the cat cam. Um, can you see it in the cat cam? Yeah, you can. It's along with the cats. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. It is large. Very I large. <laughs> looked up whether it was the largest video game console and yeah. it was. Really? Up to the PlayStation 5, which is actually bigger than that really? by volume. By volume. Um, it beats it in one dimension, but not the other two dimensions. Gotcha. Um, but overall, it beats the it. The volume. Phaser Cat Game says it's not large, it's majestic. <laughs> yeah. It is majestic. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at what the 5200 is all about. ITC says, actually, the laser active is larger. Oh, is it? Okay. So it's third largest then now. Yeah. By width, 
height and length. Yeah. Uh, it's officially called the Atari 5200 Super, Super System, System or Atari 5200. Nice. And uh, an interesting fact, the Atari 2600 was renamed at the launch of the 5200. Before that, it was the Atari VCS. But they renamed the line. And they called it the 2600? Yeah, because that's a 5200. The 2600 was the model number. And I guess some people started calling it by the model number gotcha. at some point. Yeah. Bigger than an OG Xbox. Do I have yeah. an OG Xbox? No, I sold it because I don't really care about the OG Xbox. <laughs> and the 360 is backwards compatible. Yeah. Uh, introduced in 1982 by Atari Inc. is a uh, higher end compliment for the popular Atari VCS. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it was renamed, created to compete with Intellivision, which was put out in 1979. Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, 5200 won wound up a direct competitor of ColecoVision shortly after it's released. Coleco shipped with Donkey Kong. Wow. This, I think, picked a wrong thing to ship with Super Whoa, yeah. Breakout. It's just colored blocks on the screen yeah it doesn't show it's, it off well enough it's pretty much an advanced pong which is the first oh, home no. game it was a very terrible choice to to yeah. ship with super breakout even though it's a fun game it just doesn't say i'm new i'm pushing the boundaries yeah, of it, what it this is it doesn't really show off what it can do right no yeah uh, cpu and graphics and sound hardware are almost identical to that of the atari 8-bit computers Although the software is not directly compatible between the two systems, the 5200 uh, controllers have an analog joystick and numeric keypad along with start, pause, and reset buttons, which is pretty cool for the time. 360 degree non-centering joystick was touted as offering more control than the 8-way CX40 joystick of the 2600, but was a focal point for criticism. Now. And why is that? Uh, here are all my controllers for the 5200. <laughs> I have five of them. None of them work. <laughs> zero. Absolutely zero. Um, I don't think there is a surviving 5200 controller. Really? That has not been modded that works 100% oh, from back God. then. Um, so you get this analog controller, which is cool. It is cool. Um, especially for analog games like uh, Missile Command. You're able to mm. put the crosshairs anywhere on the screen really fast it's like a mouse yeah. it's pretty much the same as a mouse yeah for moving around um but just the construction was not great the non-centering mm. made it very difficult for digital games because say you're playing pac-man um and also the uh window of center is very small oh no so you're always leaning one so direction if, so if you're going idea? yeah you're always leaning, leaning one direction yeah up down or left and right so it's very very uh, difficult yeah. because it doesn't center itself but great for certain games not great for others mm -hmm. yeah math of 2600 plus 5200 equals 7800 mm -hmm. they kept the kept the uh naming convention there it's funny that they kept it based on the model number because yeah. like, who knows where 2600 i mean often <laughs> models it's like revisions and so they up yeah. the numbers it could have been at a thousand first and then oh big revision two thousand and then 2100 yeah. etc et i'm sure et there's there's a reason i'm there's sure someone out there knows there's but... a 2800 that was marketed in japan yeah so it's not always the 2600 yeah. everywhere anyway these are useless uh until i fix them <laughs> and i may not fix well maybe i'll fix one of them mm. uh, just to have an og controller yeah, just to have one, 2600 being the frequency of the old phone system, I doubt that was related. Because that's the uh, the tone for a yeah. dime for, this, for the telephone system. Yeah. Like you Who play knows? 2600 tone and you got free calls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, way to hack the phone, yeah. So this is a four port model, which was the original model. Okay. And it... That kind of coincides with the Atari 400, 800 computers that were the first Atari home computers released. Okay. Um, this is more in line with the 400. It has, well, we'll look at the specs a little bit, but it also had four ports. So that carried over to this. Okay. So it's like, okay, you have four ports. We'll have four ports. We'll just make a consoleized version of the computer. Of the computer, yeah. And that's pretty much what this is. Mm -hmm. So the four port 5200. Oh, let's get off that. Um, four port 5200, they thought they'd be clever and they wanted to simplify hooking up the system to your television. Um, so they made it so only 
one cable came out of the back of the 5200 okay. and went into this box. And, and this I'm, box I'm would be on the back of your TV. I'm guessing a proprietary cable because it had... It's a normal RF cable. It was normal. Yeah, okay. totally normal. Okay. Um, so one came out of the uh, 5200. So you're like, how can there only be one cable out of a machine? Doesn't it need video, audio, yeah. and power? How does it get power yeah. if this is just going with over one cable? What they did is carried power and video and audio over the RF. Interesting. So power came back through the RF and video and audio came out of the system. That sounds <laughs> scary as not hell. Not the greatest idea, but did it work? Uh, yeah, it works. Yeah. Um, if you put these in the wrong order, like say, okay, you plug, you plug it in first oh, to the I wall. Oh, I see. Then and you then fry the you whole put system? the RF. No, no, okay. it sparks because it, <gasps> the um, it jumps. Oh, of course. Like when you get it close. As you get close, yeah. I don't know if anybody knows about light switches. Mm. So, sort of a tangent. When you flick a light switch, it's not a smooth movement. There's always this kind of click, and it mm -hmm. kind of forces itself. That's to minimize the time for the um, power to connect yeah. through a circuit. So it bumps all of a sudden really fast. That's so there's no arcing. Yeah. So what happens with this, if you plug it in before you, like you plug it into the wall before you hook up the RF to your 5200. It arcs. It arcs. And I've had that happen. And of course, um, Angry Video Game Nerd, if you've seen that episode about the 5200, he exaggerates it quite a bit. Yeah, and it yeah. blows him backwards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But it does. You can you can do it. The wow. instructions walk you through the proper setup, but yes. people don't read instructions. Who reads instructions? S. Ramirez. That's right. So you hook this up to your TV, yeah. and you hook it through this, and you yeah. hook it up through the RF to the 5200. But, and, and here's here's the power brick for 5200. Chonky, chonky, chonky. All right, look at this bad boy. Um, this one doesn't work. But you can now... Um, so what you can do for the four port models is mod it so that it has separate video and audio and the RF separate. Okay. And you can mod it so it has the power separate. power for the two port, which oh. is just a barrel plug. Okay. And now you don't need this chonky thing anymore because you can get this just tiny a normal one. Normal connector. Normal connector. Yeah. Um, so that makes life a lot easier is 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 having just this and of course upgrading it as well funny funny so let me plug that back in um so let's get back to uh 5200 story because this is the first time we've ever played 5200 properly on the stream so we got to learn a little bit about it um uh, on May 21st, 1984, during a press conference at which the Atari 7800 was introduced, the company executives revealed that the 5200 has been discontinued after just two years two on the market. Two years? So that was it? Big failure. Wow. And I was watching some videos about the 5200. Yeah. And, uh, oh my God, I lost my train of thought there. The videos on the 5200? Yeah. About the big failure? Yeah, the failure. Oh, why it was a failure. Yeah. Because by the time it was out, mm. it was very comparable or or more expensive than the what you would get with the computer system. Gotcha. Because the computer system had been out for a couple of years by then. Mm. And the prices have had come down. And you compare this to a computer... You would go, well, it has the same games, pretty much, because they would just port over games. Um, but with the computer, you would get a computer, too. And you'd be able to use it as a computer and not just a game system. So, um, yeah, 69 games officially released. Oh. Very small library. Is that 69? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a pretty small library, gotcha. but it was just two years out on the market that's true i don't know if there were games released after yeah nice mm -hmm. uh after usually official games get completely dry up after they stop selling the system because people have moved on they know it's a failure um let's see uh the sales of the 5200 were reported in excess of 1 million units far short of its predecessor sales of over 30. 
Yeah, I so was going to say one million doesn't sound terrible, but obviously it's not terrible. But they're the shooting for a lot more. The market could have supported a lot more. And, oh, and, yeah, yeah, and they and knew they that they didn't get there. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Um, it, it's it's. I think it's just a matter of too little, too late at the time, mm -hmm. and the type of games that it started out with were rehashes of of games that are already on the market for a long time. I notice a lot of people talking about the name. Mm. And then about it being a coincidence, but then B.R. Pocock says the 7800 docs actually refer to it as the 3600. So I guess it was renamed late in development. Oh, really? Yeah, could be. I mean, mm. that kind of makes sense that it's the 3600. 2600, like, oh, 3600. 3600. It's like, yeah. yeah. So it'd be more understandable. It's like, where, where were the ones in between these numbers? We missed a bunch, right? Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Prototype seventy eight hundred was called the thirty six hundred. That's interesting. Oh, but then who said no? We're gonna double the number because <laughs> clearly the number doubled. But mm. yes, that's right. So it's twice as. Who good. developed it? No, seventy eight hundred was after the fifty two hundred. Um, seventy eight hundred was eighty four, May twenty first, right there, and the fifty two hundred was November, uh, nineteen eighty two. That's even mm. less than two years. Um, so we go to the technical specifications, um, MOS 6502, every computer back then, well, a lot of them were 6502. That's the same chip, similar chip to the 2600 mm. and the 7800. Look, just, they have the, the schematic from the patent for the controller there. Yeah. So what went wrong? Uh, <laughs> Everything. Uh, <laughs> well, interesting. A lot of the buttons stopped working. Um, on one of those, the, the the plastic around the joystick would break. Is, yeah, I noticed is, that it broke away. Yeah, was it just poor materials then, or I, I think so. Like yeah. like these buttons, yeah. some of them don't work on on my uh, mm. controllers. Um, some of these buttons don't work on some of the controllers. Some of the side firing buttons don't work. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's oh, just hi, poor, poor, poor materials, unfortunately. But yes, S. Ramirez says it came with a pokey chip, mm. which uh, the Atari computer systems came with as well. So it had a big advantage. And it's mysterious why they didn't put the pokey chip in the 7800 when it was they in a 5200 that came out two years before the 7800. It's an amazing sound chip, yeah. especially for the year it came out in. Mm. Um, so the graphics chips are Antic and GTIA. Um, screen resolution has a whole bunch of different modes, same as the uh, Atari 8-bit computer. Mm -hmm. Lots of colors. Uh, Atari was known for being having a lot of colors early on. Early on, uh, so they're going with a smaller number, 5200, for the 7800 originally. Yeah, it's weird. Um, lots of sprites. It was a very, very capable machine, mm. and as you'll see as we play these games. Um, there's a lot. It came with 16K of RAM, which was the Atari's mm. 400s when it was kind of uh, maxed out, is 16K of RAM. Gotcha. So it's like a really decent Atari 400 without yeah. a keyboard. For that for that era. Of, yeah. yeah. Uh, ROM, 2K on board BIOS, 32K window for uh, game cartridges, expandable using bank switching uh, techniques. And there's its chonky size just over a foot one way or actually over a foot two dimensions and yeah. then four uh just over four inches 16k was absurdly high for the time yeah it yeah. it was like if you look at the computer systems that were mm -hmm. out back then it's com it's like on par with computer systems mm -hmm. at, the, at that era like the commodore 64 hadn't come out there yet uh vic 20 was out i can't remember what year but yeah Vic 20 just had a little bit more than than a game console. Yeah. Because game consoles are usually well underpowered. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. they're very dedicated to exactly what they do. Yeah, their specific game playing function. Yeah. These cats. Oh my goodness. And uh, so there's the quick rundown on the 5200. Um, there's a lot more information in there. But you can read that at your leisure. That's just the 5200 wiki. Mm. Wikipedia page. Okay. Time to get... To the game. I don't know if anyone is in the is in the mood to feed some cats. These this two would be are the time all to do it. over us right now. Yeah. If yeah. anybody has some bits, they feel like we can have a, up. a 
cat competition. <laughs> oh, RC70. Oh, thank you, thank you. Has entered the cats into a competition. Yep. We know that Sprite, any over under bets? Uh, yeah, well. Sprite is won by anywhere from like most of the five, time. three to five over top. Oh, they're both off oh to goodness. a good start. They are. They both got one one. Fight. Yeah, we hear you. So you only need a maximum of 19. <laughs> maximum. Oh. 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 Okay, that's for you. That's, that's for, you. for you. That's for you. It's 1-1 one, one tie. 1-1. One, one. Win 5-3. to three. You mean 10-6? to six? We go to 10. We go to 10. I didn't hear anything. Oh, nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. I tar it. almost got it. There we there go. We Sprite go. pulls ahead. 2-1. Atari, oh. get it. Sorry. Good. Is that 2-2 two to two now? 2-2. Two to two. There we go. And oh, <laughs> three to two. Simplify the expression. <laughs> and Atari is very distracted. That's that's oh, oh no. four to two. That's his downfall. He'll take the treats out into the the hallway. The hallway so and Sprite slows doesn't him get way them. down. <gasps> oh my God! Five to three. Oh, he runs oh, away on, with Atari. it. Come on, Atari. He's got his own treats to deal with. So Dan ABC is correct right now. It's five to three. Oh, oh, six to three. Six to four. Come on, Tari, you can keep up with it. Don't take it into the hall. There you go. Seven to four. It's dueling Bell Joes. <gasps> Seven to five. Oh, Sprite's distracted. Oh, he missed it. Can Atari get catch up? Oh. Seven to six. Atari's catching up. This is a close, <laughs> close race. Oh, eight to six. Sprite pulls ahead again, as expected. Eight to seven. Ooh, this is the closest one yet. Oh, no, he ran off. Oh, nine to seven. It's game point. Game point. For Sprite. Nine to seven. Oh, Sprite's looking at the other bell. Oh, oh insult to injury. There you go. He uses Atari's bell. Atari, an extra Ten one to for seven. you. That was a good showing, though. It was. That's the best. Uh, he's tied for best he's ever done. Yep. There we go. Atari, Atari needs mean. to eat. Eat. He does. Oh. Uh, so let's take a look at the poll. 40% uh, have an Atari 5200. Uh, thirty-five percent want to get one, so that's very, very high. Seventy-five percent either have one or want to get one. Okay. And twenty-five percent hate the fifty-two hundred. <laughs> no, they just don't plan on getting one. Um, I can Never. understand. There's, it's it's a big system. It's not a huge library for it. A pretty decent library though. There's a lot of conversions. It's deeper than most shelves. That's all I'm going to point out. It's very. The deep. depth of it 13, is ridiculous. Thirteen inches. Yeah. Yeah. Plus power out yes. the back or cabling out the back. Yeah. I don't. I don't think that really fits big. into like I. I don't even know if it would fit front to back on on your. No, no, no. Your it, shelving unit there. It would stick out. <sighs> Quality ratio of fifty to hundred is very high. That is a very good point. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's take a look at our options mm. for controls, because like I said, these are trash, <laughs> unless you fix them up and then you can make them okay. This one's actually kind of centering, but not really. Um, so, my pride and uh, joy mm. is this arcade style controller right here. It's lovely. Um, which I got from Retro Game Boys. Mm. It has a full joystick, a uh, arcade joystick. It's got the number pad as well. Very nice. It's got two buttons mm. uh, for the two buttons. It's got um, the dials so that you can center. This is, an, this is a digital joystick, by the way. Um, but you do need these dials to be able to center it um, because it needs to um, be centered analog. Really? These do, you can play um, like Pong or whatever, Super Breakout with these if you really? want, because they act they like... They center. Yeah, it's ah. it's like putting your joystick in the center. They work as paddles too, as Espamira yes, says. Yes, they work yeah. as paddles. So if you press left, it'll be like 100% left, 100% gotcha. right, 100% yeah. up, 
down. Interesting. Um, so they work kind of in conjunction mm. with this, but this is a digital joystick with mm. analogish controls. Mm. Uh, another option, which I can't remember where I got this or who I bought it from. Yeah. Um, but they're all third party. Um, this is a analog joystick. So this has a uh, little analog thumb analog controller. Con yeah. Thumb controller. It's got all the buttons. It's got the two fire buttons. It's got the three start. What are they? Start, pause, and reset <laughs> buttons on it. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not super happy about this because it does mm. fall out if you pull it or use it too much. Um, but it's very good controls. Um, so, and it works fine for digital games as well. So th this is another option. Yeah. And a third option is this box right here. And there's no joystick on this box, but it has all the numbers. And the paddle controllers. And the paddle controllers at oh. the bottom. So you can play paddle games with this. Gotcha. But what you plug into it at the bottom is a DB9 joystick. So we can play using the 7800 oh, 7, controllers that I do like already. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Um, I also so do options. also have this shrunk down okay. somewhere. I think I've got three of them where it has this output and this input. Okay. But you don't have any of these buttons and you don't have any of these pots on it. Um, so you can say you have a third or fourth player that doesn't need any options. Oh, I see. I see. You can just directly plug it in. Plug a controller in. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. So these are, I have three fully functional um, digital options. Yeah. One analog option. So for analog games that we do need to play analog, and there yeah. are some. You can't, Not tonight, you can't but... play an analog game on this? Uh, and Teledisks is analog, but it's oh. not super important. Digital should work fine. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Uh, I know, um, what is it? Magical Fairy Force oh, is yeah. analog. Okay. Like you can move where you want on the screen. It's yeah. kind of analog, kind of digital at the same time. Okay. I think you point and it moves in that direction. It's been a while since we played it. Mm. Let me go over there. <laughs> How long has that been there for? I don't know. Oh, I forgot to show this off. There's the, oh. there's the power in the box. Oh. The 5200. This may have come in the, in the, in the box. Um, wow. But anyway. Neat. It is neat. So I recommend we play with this one. Okay. Because I like this one. Yeah, it's arcade style. Yeah, it's nice. It's style. got everything incorporated into one. Um, so. And I have played with this. Yeah. But we'll keep that till we play um, IntelliDiscs mm. next. So we'll see how the... Um, analog controls work. So I'm going to give this to you. Thank you. Oh, and also one other thing I do have for the 5200. I've been slowly building up 5200 stuff over the years yeah. in anticipation that I will have the rollout, yeah. a functioning 5200. Are these extension cables mm. um, which fit 5200? Now these aren't actually specially made for the 5200. They just work. These are for Neo Geo Oh. consoles which have the exact same number of like pins pin, pin structure and all yeah that. yeah so i've got three of these i'm gonna i've i've ordered another one so that we have four for when we play some cool. four player games because cool. there are four player games yeah and that's another reason i modded the four port one because okay. if you just mod the two port you can't play the four player games okay so let's plug this in And they're very long and they get caught obviously there we go let's plug this in because i don't like to put wear on the ports that are directly in the gotcha. system because you can always replace these but you replacing the ports in the system is like oh my god that's the analog intelligence is intellidisc is just 16 directional control okay to mimic um the um Intellivision version gotcha. of um, the in, game. Yeah, yeah. Of Tron? No. Yeah, Tron Deadly Discs. Yeah. That's what it is. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, oh, also, we'll be playing this on this later, but this is the Atari Max cartridge. If you have a 5200, this is highly recommended. Mm -hmm. It supports everything. 
that you throw at it. Um, yeah, it's a SD based uh, cartridge multi game thing. Okay, first up, we have Robin Banks. Yay! Um, Look at very, that. very fun port of Intellivision's Lock and Chase. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, which I played a lot back in the day on Intellivision. On and Intellivision. Fifth, and 2600. There's a ah. decent, okay version on 2600. Um, so let's take a look at. Um, yeah. Out of here. One second. The Lock and Chase arcade first, and I didn't even know that this was an arcade, arcade game. game. Mm. I only knew the home version of it, but so many games were ported from the arcade and just people were not really aware of it. Uh, by 1981, by Data East. Stiffy, smarty, scaredy, and, and silly. silly. Oh my goodness. The names. <laughs> um, so, Rob... Uh, Robin Banks is a port of Lock and Chase, a uh, video game developed by Data East and released in arcades in Japan in 1981. It was a mm. license to Taito for distribution in North America. Let's get to actual gameplay. Oh. There we go. Let me just turn that down. There we go. Uh, uh, a maze game, Lock and Chase, was Data East's response to Pac-Man. Home versions for the Intellivision and 2600 were pu published by Mattel in 1982 and an Apple II version in January 1983. The game's protagonist is a thief. The object of the game is to enter a maze and collect all the coins, and if possible, any other treasure that may appear. A thief must then exit the maze, a vault, without being apprehended by the Super D. Policeman. <laughs> Super D. Uh, the thief can then close the door. The thief can close doorways within the maze in order to temporarily trap the super D and allow him to keep his distance from them. Only two doors can be closed at a time. Mm. The super D policemen are named Stiffy, Scaredy, Smarty, and Silly. Um, so we'll read more about that in a bit. Uh, let's take a look at the. Which one do I have queued up? I think it might be the 2600 version. So. We'll see what people got to play on the Atari. Nice. Oh, S. Ramirez says there's one in an arcade that's 45 minutes away from me. Really? Neat. So here's the 2600 version. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they were really clever about it because there's no flicker, yet mm. they have four enemies on the screen. Uh, they did a very clever thing with... Um, I missiles, do. I believe. Two. There's never three on the same line, I don't think. Or are there? I, so I think it's your player zero and the enemies... No, I'm still looking for three on the same line. The enemies are player one and That's player right. one missile. Because if you look at their heads and their bodies, heads are two, bodies four, and the bottom of the feet is either... is one and it alternates. And a missile can do all those things. Mm. So they did a very, a very clever design uh, for Lock and Chase. Yeah, the 2600 is surprisingly solid. No vertical doors. Yeah, they mm. could, couldn't do that. They'd have to use a, they'd have to use a ball um, for that. So, but I'm guessing the ball was uh, used for something else, and they couldn't do it in. in, in uh, yeah, they could have done a ball, but then you couldn't do two verticals in the same space. Anyway. I do like the marching uh, police officers, though. <laughs> yeah, Their feet's they're very going cool. Doot, doot, doot. It worked really well. It does very, look very really good. Yeah. So let's pop this in. And switch over. Something is playing in the background. Let's stop. Oh, the arcade was still playing. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Oh. Okay, let's fire up the first 5200 game Woo! for Lock and Chase. This show. Well, Robin Banks. Robin Banks, sorry. <laughs> Phaser Cat. Aww. Aww. Can't kitties. go wrong with kitties. Oh, Black Kitty, come here. 
We're playing phaser cat. So games. Biff, Bull, Buzz, Porkchop. Nice Porkchop. <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred, a thousand. Nice. So Let's this see. game. Party time for kitten. Oh. Party time for kittens. Cat. Oh, cats, 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 cats. He did hear something. He did. Is it party time for kittens? It Here, is. I can read a bit about this. Yeah. Who okay. made this game? So, as you saw, it's uh, by Phaser Cat Games, which is Ryan Whitmer. Did the design and programming, Constantinos Giamalides, T-I-X. What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, Pour it in? Um, Put it on the floor? No, do you have a, another coaster somewhere? Uh, there should be another one under there. There it is. Okay. Um, so, T-I-X did character and object graphics. Bobby Car Clark, Synth Papalooza, did sound effects and music. And Henry Lee did the cover art, and Tony Morse did the manual layout. First posted May 16th, 2021 on the Atari Age forums. This is the 2022 retail build. It's a 32K game. You're confusing the cat. No, he's, he's knocking it around. <laughs> um, and uh, Ryan has done IntelliDiscs, Magical Fairy Force, Rat Catcher, uh, Real Sports Curling, and Robin Banks. Oh, uh, what a mess. Three of his games tonight. What a mess, that cat. So uh, that is... Hey, hey, hey. That's start. Okay. Um, pause and reset. Start, pause, reset. Right? Okay. Start, pause, reset. And um, yeah, it should be centered. Okay. We'll see. Uh, haven't we established that the coaster's lids don't prevent the mess in any meaningful no, way? No, not even Oh, remotely. Esther Mayers has the Ryan collection. Oh, that's awesome. Game player mode. We'll get this away from the ports. There we go. Oh, what's going on? Oh, you're changing through the modes. No, yep. I'm just looking at them. One player. So you get to pick your start, start stage. Uh, I think it's the hat. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, video game has no sound. Too much sound. The volumes correct. Okay, let's read about Robin Banks. The great bank heist, notorious master thieves, Rob and Banks, are playing the biggest caper of their lives. Help them clean out as many banks as possible. Uh, but watch out for the Virtua Cops. They're out to put Rob and Banks away for good. Grab all the gold coins in each bank and make your escape. But keep your eyes open for special treasures and bags of cash. When the guards are too close, slam a door behind you to throw off pursuit. Oh, did it want to work? No. Nope. Probably wasn't in the right position. Uh, it, uh, the door is the last one you pass through, so there's always a door. There you go. You trapped yourself. <laughs> Uh, how much money can you grab before your luck runs out? I really like that uh, Al included the overlays with the IntelliDiscs, by the way. Yes, yes, very good. Cat fight over nip. Oh. Atari calls like a potato bug when he's stoned. Potato. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a potato cat? Oh, potato he's cat. He's licking all of it off. <laughs> he's going on a cleaning spree now. Over here, away from the ports. Don't lean on the ports. Hi. Oh, I made a mess of the floor. Um, so it's got one player uh, option, single player. Two players, one controller. Two players will alternate. Two players, two controllers. Um, but player two will control banks using uh, controller number two. And I know Ryan was hoping to get two players simultaneous in the game, but he wasn't able to. Um, due to limitations of the so system. So it's, it's alternating. Alternating, either with one or two joysticks, yeah. Um, and you can select the stage. Sle stages are identified by the bonus item that appears in the stage. Um, the banks. The object of the game is to help rob and banks steal as much as possible from a series of banks. Each bank is patrolled by four Virtua Cops who will hunt down rob and banks. If you are caught by them, you will lose a life. You will start the game with three lives, and when they're all gone, the game is over. Are we on the second level now? Yes. Uh, nope. Don't trap yourself. You get caught on edges a little bit. Mm. So you have to be very careful. 
It is centered though. It's not forcing you uh, in any I direction. I don't. No, up think or down. So. No. Left or right. Good. Um, a bonus life will be rewarded if you can steal fifteen hundred points. You're on your way there. Third of the way to an extra life. Uh, you start each bank at the bottom exit. After a moment, you will automatically enter the bank and you begin your heist. In each bank, there are several gold coins that you can collect by walking over them. Several. A lot. <laughs> Many gold coins. When you have collected all of the coins, the bank exits at the top and the bottom will open. Uh, when you have collected all of the coins, the bank... Uh, there we go. Reach one of these exits to escape the virtual cops and advance to the next bank. Oh, no. How's the joystick? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, just to show you. Yeah. Very Pac-Man-esque. Oh yeah. <laughs> as, as I read in the intro, cute car. Um, things on the F sides of the screen are normal, like little weirdness and glitches. Oh, glitchy. Yeah. Um, it's meant for CRT, and you would never see those things. Um, but I can't remember. I think, uh, yeah, Jesse said that, is that there's stuff on the sides of the screen that you just can't really avoid too much. Mm. Oh, yes. Uh, Ivory Tower Collection says, James told me earlier that he just had to connect it to the Tink 5X and it just worked without any adjustments needed. Like, literally, this is plain. This is a blank slate of me plugging this into the Tink. Uh, Retro Tank 5X. Mm -hmm. There's no settings I've set at all. It just works and looks great right out of the gate. So I'm really happy with that. Thank you, Jesse, once again for uh, upgrading this system. And so we can uh, use it on the show. So they run at different speeds, eh? They do a little bit, yeah. Um, at each side of the bank is a single escape tunnel that will transport anyone to the opposite side of the bank. Use this in a pinch, but be warned the virtual cops will also use this tunnel. There are two different tunnels, but only one will be open at any given stage. Bonus objects. Near the center of each bank is a spot where bags of cash will occasionally appear. Four cash bags will appear in each bank. If you can grab them, you'll be rewarded with increasing amounts of money. Nice. The bags only appear for a short time. A very short time, I've experienced. They're very like, short. You have to you be, gotta be right nearby. on them. Yeah. Oh, the red cop is most dangerous. I, I thought so. Fastest. It's because he's made of missiles. <laughs> Is he? That's funny. Um, the colors are a bit off because I haven't made... Like, that's supposed to be blue. Let me see if I can get what it better. What is supposed to be blue? Oh, that's a better color. There we go. Um, just we see it on the screen. It's nice blue. But um, I need to make my own profile for 5200. 50, but the 7800 works pretty good, actually. I may rename that 7800-5200. This looks really... Oh, you, you get doing? caught. You get caught. <laughs> no, you get it. caught on corners. Not if there's not enough space to go back down, unfortunately. Mm. Player one, ready. When you die, the ditty sounds familiar. I'll have to listen to it next time. Get it! Get that bag of cash! There's no power-ups in this game, is there? Not that I can tell, just points. Yeah, so you can't ever chase the, the cops. No. no, you can't, you can't. Uh... turn red for a bit when you get a, a reward, but that's about it. <laughs> um, grabbing the cash will embarrass the virtual cops, that's what's happening, and you'll be able to pass through them harmlessly for a very brief period of time. Like, two seconds, it's super yeah. brief. I guess if you're being chased, it'll give you a little bit of time of getting getting away. You can you can trap in the corners for bonus points, the cops. <sighs> trap in corners? <laughs> oh, <laughs> with the doors. I haven't been playing with the doors too much. I should I yeah. should do that a little bit more. In the lower part of the bank, other bonus objects will appear. The object here will change with each level and will appear twice in each stage. Grab this item mm. for additional points whenever you can. It's difficult to get it those. It is. You have to be right hard. by it when it pops up. That's basically... Yeah. Um, the walls of the banks have lines in them to indicate door junctions. An automatic security system operates four green gates that make use of these junctions. You can see um, four at a time. The green ones are coming out. 
When closed, they block the paths of not only your character, but also the virtual cops. These gates can both help and hinder you, so pay attention to them at all times. Uh, two of the gates remain near the center of the bank, just below the spot where the cash bag appears. The other two will move around the bank. Pay attention to their movement and try to be ready for them when, when they appear. Rob and Bags also have the ability to lock doors behind them. You may lock up to two doors, and after a brief period, they will disappear, making them available for reuse. Just like the green door gates, nobody can pass through these doors. Use them strategically to ward off pursuers. Uh, Robin Banks will always attempt to lock the door in the last junction they pass through, so remember which one you passed through last. Additionally, it's possible to trap the virtual cops in three corners of the bank. If you can do this, you will receive a bonus based on the number of trapped cops. So three corners of the bank. Um, yeah, in the bottom left. Three corners. Did I say three? Hmm. Three corners. Oh, because the top left one is not possible. So the top right, oh, the lower left, and the bottom right have a gate at the top and a gate on the bottom side. I can see that. So if you can lure one in there and uh, trap them in there, we'll be able to see that. You can't use the top left corner. Yeah, its design is a little bit different. Nope, nope, you have to wait till he gets in there to trap him in there. Or maybe you weren't trying to trap. No, oh, okay. I was just playing with it because I haven't been playing with it too much. Um, using the 5200 controller. That's, we know how to do that. Scoring, receive $20 for each gold coin you collect. First cash bag is collected uh, in each stage awards 500. Second is worth 1,000. Third bag gives you 2,000. Fourth and final bag collected is worth 4,000. So if you get all the cash stuff and kind of hang around the center, it's worth quite a bit. Now, are those cash bags based on how many gold coins you get? Or is it time? Also reminds me of Mice Chase Computer, but I doubt that's familiar to most people. Are you talking about the game Mousetrap? Um, so there's a hat, a crown, you're in the second level, so you're in the crown. That's worth 300 if you get it. Yay, they're all embarrassed. We're so embarrassed. Well, whoever is uh, maintaining this vault should be embarrassed with all the gold coins lying all over the place. All over the floor. What a mess. If anything, you're doing them a favor <laughs> by picking up all the mess. You're putting it all together in a bag, you know? It, you're cleaning up. Uh, crown, briefcase, telephone, watch, camera, sunglasses, flashlight, key, and a heart. The, the value is all over the place for, um, the bonus what items. What you get? Oh. Like, the, like, eighth level, it goes back down to 400 after going up to 2,000. Funny. It's totally random. Like, it goes up for a bit, and then do goes down, and then actually goes up, up, down, way up up, way up, way down, and then up again. Mm. Uh, points are also awarded for trapping virtual cops in the corners of the bank. Trap one cop, th 100, two cops, 300, three cops, 1,000, four cops, 2,000. I would think tra trapping four cops would be more than that, because that's, that's worth quite a bit. There you go, plus 100. I like the uh, scoring system there, where it shows your score, but then it shows... Like, you get the bag of cash and it says plus a thousand, and then it adds it on. Or does it automatically add it on? Let's see when it disappears. Oh, it automatically added it on as soon as you got it. Which would be a bit of a misnomer, then? Because it's saying your score plus a thousand, but they're just showing... I'm that you added just showing it just yeah, yeah, yeah. added a thousand. The bonuses are all tied to coins. I thought so. So the more coins you get, so it's good to do a pattern mm. where you always end up near the center when you're doing, when you're collecting coins. So you go out in a loop and then you kind of head back towards the center for a bit. And there's four. So if you divide the, the board up into four quadrants and get all those coins in the quadrant or equivalent and hang around the center. Perfect. Exactly. 
Maybe the red cop's never embarrassed because he's already red. He's already red. That's uh, why he's so angry. <laughs> nice. Uh, the cash bags and bonuses appear once you have collected a certain number of banks' gold coins. There we go. With practice, you can plan your route. This is exactly what I just said. Yeah. Uh, I should have read this first. You can plan your route to be near these objects when they appear. <gasps> no! Uh, opposite of what you're trying to do. Yeah. To avoid the cop's line of sight. Try to avoid the cop's line of sight. Line of sight. Oh, so Yeah, because they... they go after you if they see you. Oh. Definitely. Yeah, so definitely. they're kind of random until they see you. And then they chase you. Oh, that one took a turn. Ah. You do too. You do too. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's an area you can't trap them. Oh. That's the sadness. only area. Yeah. Um, the red cop buzz is the most dangerous of the virtual cops. On higher levels, you'll need to be very aware of where he is and trying to keep him away as far as possible. Some stages have intermissions that play after you complete them. Use this opportunity to catch your breath and enjoy the show. Perhaps there's a way to watch these intermissions without playing the game. So he mm. is, uh, Ryan's put in a way to see all the uh, intermissions from the title screen. Maybe, maybe? there's an Easter egg in there they, Yeah, there's definitely there. an Easter egg. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. You know. <laughs> maybe something like that. Um, so I've read all the credits already, and uh, there's a place in the manual for you to defile it and put your uh, high scores in there. Defile it. Yep. Defile. Or you can put a piece of paper oh, and slip I it in. <sighs> I have to cross the. I have to cross it. Yep. Boo. Perfect timing. I can spill the secret if you want. Mm. Uh, let's try and find it. I'm we'll very bad. I'd like to know, as Ramirez says. I bet it's here. Oh. <laughs> this just seems like a good spot to do oh, it. RB5200 says, I know the Easter egg. Mm. Is it here? Is there... So... Mm. It seems like... Let's see. 5200. Nope. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's go back to the title screen. Not 5200. Hmm. Maybe it's two buttons at once. <laughs> All the numbers. One, 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 one. Mm. Hmm. Up and one. Hmm. No. Eight, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. No, not there. Eight, six, seven, five, three, <laughs> Nostalgic. Oh, nine. Nostalgic. Nope. <laughs> 1982? 1982. No. So we're just going to play. Let's play two player. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try out this one and plug in my 7800 controller. Yep. If you tell, it ruins the fun of finding it out. That is true. Okay. So we plug into the top of this or the front of this. Mm -hmm. Never use this. Oh, well, we'll see years. how it works. Years and years. What? You bought something you didn't immediately, you weren't e immediately able to use? That's right. Amazing, huh? Let's just turn it off. Just in case. There's any issues? Of course, the bad thing about buying things and never trying them out or using them is that they could be faulty. <laughs> and I have no recourse and I don't even remember where I got this. Okay. So if you could put it to two players, please. Uh, where are we here? Star. Star. There we go. All right. Nice. Uh, I'm guessing I'm still player one, so. Ivory Tower Collection says, I did that. I bought a few PS4 games before I even owned a PS4. I probably did that with the Switch. I think I bought some Switch games before we yes, even had a Switch. Yes, you, you totally did. We wanted a Switch, but then we were debating back and forth, and then you started buying Switch games. <laughs> and I was like, I yeah. guess we're getting a Switch, because uh, he started buying games for it. So That's I think right. we were just waiting for a reasonable deal. Yeah, and I we're, think we we're, got one with a game or some pack-in. With... Ah, no, it, it see how hard it is to go left sometimes? Left and right? Really? Yeah. I get caught. Try going up to a T and not going left and right. I want to make sure that... Like this way? Oh. No. 
over on the left hand side. Um, no, I don't think I'm drifting left or right. It just it gets caught. That's all. See, I'm like I'm just okay. going backwards, or I don't know. Yeah, it's, there's. It's just it's just tricky. Oh, that's not closed up. It's gonna make a mess. Oh, the cat. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you make games, you have to make sure there's a certain tolerance. Yeah. Like for ladders in games, or for turning corners. You don't want to make it pixel perfect, where, oh, if you miss the pixel, you're done. You can't yeah. make the turn or go up the ladder. It's just infuriating if you do it that way. But you don't want to make it too loose either. So it's a it's a fine balance. Yay. No, 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 no. Let's go with a different route. <laughs> you're just waiting it out. Uh, I guess it's just... pretty quick. I think once you up. get all the coins, I don't think the money bag comes back. You have to lead the turns a bit. You do, a little. So it's your turn, I guess. Yeah. Right. Still money. Yeah. That's what I always do in games, is lead the turns. You have to, kind of. Some um, games it's don't a little tight, you. though, if you're trying to backtrack. Right. That's where it gets tricky. I, I Again, it's I, not the fault of the game. I think it's just the nuance of the how the controller works. Come on! Get... Oh! You have to lead, but if... You can't... No? No. Hmm. Getting stuck on things can be infuriating for a player. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the controls. I, I think just... it I think with a lot of these games, the controls are very different than modern games. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is pixel precision in a lot of things because they are they're such big pixels and it's not free roaming like new games are. Oh, good question. Whether this was in uh, Assembler or something else written. I don't know the... Like, there's a lot of tools, obviously, for... Yay! Bonus points. Oh, oh no. Taking nope. a long way around. No. Nope. The controller is also not a four-way. Yeah. I much prefer a four-way controller. <laughs> yeah. I do. I yeah. do, because... I didn't mean to go down there, and I went down. Like I only have one kind of yeah, four-way controller. I really don't like it. Um, it would be good to get another one. Monster joystick, like the one we have to assemble ourselves. It's so creaky and terrible. I don't. I don't dislike it. Really? The monster? No, I don't mind it. I don't like it. I think it needs tightening up every once in a while, though. There's something about it that... All the pieces are held in place by little notches. Like, yeah. It's not a solid joystick. No, no, no. The, it's, it's actually not as comfortable to hold. Like, no, this is nice sharp rounded edges. edges. Yeah. It holds really comfortably. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh-oh. What were are you, you up to? Rolling around Screams in catnip. Screams. Trouble. Ah! Not using your doors. I know. Mm. It's my turn, at least, more. now. It's your turn. Hi, See if little... I'm dialed in. Oh, you're so velvety and black. Yes, so I'm playing Banks. Wait. Oh, <gasps> you're a different color. Oh, that's cute. Are you okay? Troubles? Trouble. Oh, yeah, 100% troubles. Not working. Not at all. Uh oh, they're coming for you. No. Not working at all. Okay, other well, one. We're going to plug in the other joystick. Fair enough. Which is unfortunate because I died. Uh, this was very loose. Hmm. Why would anyone want to skip the intermissions? You can no, no, skip no. them? He says you can if you press the button. I'm like, why? I love the intermissions. Gives you a bit of... <gasps> no! Almost had the opportunity to get it, and stupid green guy came up, and got in the way. Mm. I think this was just loose. And it wasn't making a connection. So. I'm gonna <laughs> try again. I'm gonna try again with this joystick. Faster this time around. There if you not, go. I'm gonna play just single player after okay. this. Okay. Just single player, or you can't plug in the other one? Well, I'd with like the to... one with the analog. There we go. It just wasn't plugged in. Oh, okay. It wasn't plugged in properly. It's so cute. No, it's, I have to calibrate it though. Oh, oh. Does he stop? No. Oh, oh my god. Go up. There we go. Okay, I think I've almost got it calibrated. Because <laughs> I'm playing while I'm calibrating it. Not the best. 
I use my Ed Ladin 4-8 way with Maze Game, says S. Ramirez. I don't know what my Ed Ladin is. No? If it's an 8-way or a 4-way? Well, it is definitely an 8-way. I don't know if you can set it to be a 4-way. I wouldn't want to set that one to be a 4-way. Maybe it would be a good idea to have one like that set to 4-way. Um, S. Ramirez, are all Ed Ladins able to be set to 4-way? Do they all have the uh, equipment inside? Which I'm guessing they'll use arcade equipment. No, 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 no. No! Oh, right. Summer says no. Okay, so it's a special joystick then. Settable joystick. Hi, Grey Cat. Trying to get in the way, I see. I know I tested all four ports with the loop back and all the ports were working properly. Yeah, so I did get it working. It is working. It just wasn't plugged in all the way. It's a very shallow port. Um, in this extension. Hi. Do you want to lay down, or do you want to be a bother? <laughs> he says bother, please. Can you lay down? Come on, lay down. Lay down. Hi. Oh, they're so embarrassed. <laughs> I find that so funny. You got the big treasure. They're so embarrassed of you getting it. Does in this game until you get caught. For Rob, it certainly does. Rob from the Robin Banks. Uh, ITC says, I remember that I didn't even have to touch the Pokey trimmer on yours because it was already dead on factory spec readings on the Pokey adjustment test. Quite unusual. Hmm. That is unusual. Oh, that was good. It's good to know. Yeah, like the quality, the video quality is immaculate on this. Like the output. Like, mm. doesn't it look super crisp? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, I do that all the time. It does the one behind you, and yes. you change direction, so I assume it's going to do the other one, but it doesn't. You have to fully go through it. Game over. And yeah. then back again if you want it to do that. You're got a covered cat. in cats here. You're, you've got a cat right here. Yeah. I, there's a cat between us who I just want to cuddle, but I also want to uh. grab another beer, so I'm going to be right back. Do you need water or anything? I've got full water, so okay. I'm good. Okay, black kitten. Thank you. Oh, lost my my lap warmer. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Ah, no. Ooh, the red guy looks a bit orange in this. I guess you had to do some trade-offs for um, colors. Okay. Ooh, can I get that? Can I get that? Open, open, open. Yes. Embarrassment. I wish I could read what that is. Finish the level, I'll read it when I finish. Ooh. Trapped. <laughs> Not trapped. Dissuaded from following me. Uh, the quality of the S video from the 5200 is good enough for me that I've never wanted to go better in my setup. Well, there's only one, as far as I know, there's only one better um, output option. And it's called the, what is it? And it's a DVI option output, but it completely intercepts the signals on the system and reworks them. So it's almost like, can you close that up a little bit? I love this. Okay. So it's not, so it's, it kind of changes what output it is. It's not from the bare board. Um, it kind of reinterprets them. So some people don't really like that. It's called a Sophia or something? Sophia. That's what uh, every tower says. Okay, is. yeah. So there is a, a DVI output option for this, but looking at this S video output, this is as clean as I've seen RGB outputs. It's mm. really, really good. So I don't really see a, a, a huge need to upgrade this any further. Um... Yeah, it's super, super clean. Yeah. I know. it's You have to be so quick. Yeah. It's really brief. Really brief. Super brief. There's a little bit of stuttering. Um, I think I can fix that if I... Uh, oh, no, he's coming up. He's coming for you. That's okay. I'll lead him to that side, and then I can go up and then back down again. There's a setting on the retro tank. Um, 
that I need to set so the stutter goes away. So cute. It is so cute. Oh, Get he's going after them in, the, in, a, in a car. Mike Soul said, yes, this looks good. That's why I wanted to wait until I had a really good 5200. And you could play it and And show play it all these games, yeah. show it properly. There's no garbage on the screen or lines or fuzziness. It's just... Fuzzy. It's what I always try to, try to do with the show is to make sure it's super high quality. I press to the right. Super high quality awesome. at all levels as yeah. much as possible. Game over. Yeah. Awesome, awesome game. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And such a good implementation of the game. Um, there's a bunch of maze games put out in the uh, in yeah. the 80s. Um, and it's good when they have their own little twists. Yeah. Like doors, there's no power-ups in this one. Yeah, it's got a... They move, do move a lot slower. Hint of ladybug with the doors closing and flipping. Bit. and yeah. yeah. Or um, um, mappy, too, with doors yes, opening Yes, the mappy closing. doors, yes, right. Yeah. What is the HDMI capture device you use? Um, they all kind of work the same, pretty much. I have some Elgato stuff. That's not what's capturing this. This is uh, XR. Let me see. I'll get the full name of it here. It is an EVA, EVGA mm -hmm. XR1 Lite. There you go. And it can capture um, 1080p. Mm. Once you go up to the 4K captures, it's really expensive. Mm. The, like one of the like cheapest 4K decent ones are like $400. Oh, yeah. so. But we're not capturing anything that's 4K. <laughs> not even close True. to 4K. Not even close to HD. So this uh, does... I mean, I'm capturing HD because it's upscaling it yeah. to 1080. It's more about the retro tank than mm. the video capture card. Yep. Close scores. Oh, yeah, very close. <laughs> 80 points off. Uh, okay. Let's get to the second game of the night, which is intelligence. They're giving hints about uh, the Easter egg. Oh. It's pretty simple. Hmm, I went for the simple ones. Look at Beer Pocock. Uh, I thought your Easter egg was more nefarious until I looked up the enum for the inputs. I don't know what that means. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help there. Uh, enum. Not sure what enum means, but I have heard it before. <laughs> I can tell you if you want. Enumerated types. Right, it's a programming thing. <laughs> Named values. Oh, did did you look at the source code? Is that what it is? Say it, say it. <laughs> I got a 4K capture for about 60 pounds or oh. 60 euros, but it's limited to 30 frames per second in that resolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need a 60 frame 4K if you're gonna, and even more if you want to do like really crazy stuff like yeah. with variable frame rates or 120 <sighs> frames per second. Yeah, but we just have 60. Simple. So that's fine. Um, yeah. You don't have to say it in there. Yeah, no. the source code is out there. Yeah, That exactly. would make it a lot easier. Go to the menu where you pick up, where you pick the stage. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> Ow. Smack. There's, there, there. Yeah. Pager Cat Games is going to tell you. Is he going to tell me? Okay. I don't know. Oh. <gasps> Uh, five, two, and then a three, but it kind of started before that. This is like way in advance. This is probably, you probably just have to press the one, two, three, four. So who knows what that one was? Let's. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you just press the numbers. Gotcha. I was just in the wrong menu. I was thinking that was yeah. it. One, two, or three. Yeah. Oh, it's just three. Okay. So then you have to do start again. Oh my god, so cute. Distraction. Oh, he's embarrassed. Let me see three again, because we kind of didn't see it. So there's a bunch of hats. He's hiding. He hides oh, in the hats. super cute. They're like, oh, where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> we gotta go this way. That is so cute. And he gets away. Okay, I need to fix that, because I constantly am seeing the uh, 
Luckily, I know where it is. <sighs> I believe it's <gasps> either one of these, Gen, gen Lock or Frame Lock. Now it shouldn't be stuttering anymore. So let's do the third one again. Or maybe the um, first one. Ah, yep. I now it's super smooth. I put that in just so Bobby could do the music and just decided to leave it. <laughs> I mean, it makes Cute. sense to have quick access. Audio sounds off now. Are they? They're off or they are off? Sounds off? <laughs> like no, no audio? That's an ambiguous statement. No. It's scratchy. Audio was garbled. Oh, no. Uh, could, could be a... Our audio or the game's audio? Sounds vibrato. Hmm. Let me just reset it then. Okay, let's try it again. Because I can't hear it. No, what we you can't guys hear it either. How's it sound now? Sounds okay now. Okay. okay. Something. So it was probably just that reset um, made it out of sync or something oh, I because see. it kind of reset the signal a little bit. Pork chop. Pork chop. Pork chop. Pork chop sandwiches. Okay. Yes. Next one is IntelliDiscs. So let me see my notes, make sure I don't have anything before that that I need to show you guys about IntelliDiscs. Um, yes, I do. We're going to show the Intellivision version of IntelliDiscs. So let's get to that. Where's my main screen? Oh, there we go. Make sure there's no sound in the background. Um, so you know what it is a port of, if you have never seen this game. I'm sure 100% of the people watching have seen this game. Okay. YouTube. Boom. That'll give me a chance to change. Change the graphics. There we go. Main screen. Look, Tron Deadly Disc is a video game for the Intellivision console. So this is a port from the Intellivision. There's no arcade version of this particular this game. game. This, this there was... was there was a disc throwing game in the arcade, but okay. it wasn't this one. Okay. Um, the initial game design was done by Don DeGlow De with further design and program by Steven Sense. It's one of the first of three in television games based on the Disney motion picture Tron. I actually have a Tron poster outside. The, yes, you do. In the hallway. Yeah. Beautiful Japanese Tron posters. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, Mattel released an Atari 2600 version, um, which doesn't have this uh, perspective. Mm. to it. It's just a flat, the, the 2600 version. Mm. Um, released under its M Network la labels, also ported to the Mattel Aquarius. Mm. In Tron Deadly Discs, the player takes the role of Tron, fighting successive waves of enemy disc throwers and recognizers in the never-ending quest to achieve the highest score. Nice. Uh, so, let's take a look at the 5200 version. I'll make sure to stop that this time. Nice. Um, boom, boom, Thank you, Dryerland. I was feeling dry very Christmas Christmassy. Yeah. Dryerland likes my shirt. I've this also got my nice. little Holly earrings on. So what does this feel like? Ugh. It's it's velvet. I don't uh, like velvet. It's lovely. It's it so feels soft. rough. One way it feels soft. The other way you're like ah <laughs> ah terrible. <laughs> It's like uh, petting a cat. You can only pet the cat one way. Yeah, no, it doesn't. The other way, it's like, uh, the cat goes, ah! Uh, <laughs> don't do it. And props to ZPH for having a Tron poster. We'll have to show it off when Ooh. we're done. Um, you can see it from here. Play the cat games. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome poster. You can see everything. I love to make a mm -hmm. different profile for 5200, I think. This is Oh. Each thing has it yeah. different. We might be able to do it with uh, retro tank. Okay. 
fight for the users. Great, great music. <laughs> Let me get the poster right now because it's. You're gonna show it off in here. Yeah, you can just take it off the wall. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have a, a series of Japanese vi movie posters. Because I love the style of Japanese movie posters. Yeah. So this one is. Um, Ooh, dusty. Needs yeah. a dusting. <laughs> This one is an original poster from when the movie came out. In Japan. Yeah, in Japan. So it is not a reprint or anything. So I'm going to have to show it part way because it's, you know, a full size movie poster. Yeah. I'm sure that says Thranu. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing can end in a consonant. Yeah. <laughs> Just the colors are beautiful. It's red and blue and white. It's very, very contrasty. Yeah, it's got all the things from yeah. the movie, the the light cycles, the yeah. disc. It's just absolutely. Yeah, it's a beautiful poster. Toran. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We also have what else? We have a Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Uh, Mad Max. Yep, and Blade Runner. And Blade Runner. All, All originals. Japanese, original originals. Japanese posters. From, um, from the, the year the movie came out. And their posters tended to be very different than the North American ones. Super different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but very, very nice. Very nicely done. Okay. Uh, where did you get that from? Well, the sign was on the back. Posterati, which I think was oh, in New York. In New York. When we went to New York. Yeah. Yeah, they, they had that. I'm like, oh my God, they, must have it. They, and that was when you found. Like, there was a very specialty movie poster store, right? That was the one? Yep, yep, Posterati. Yeah, yep. and then you bought it from there. Yep, very and... Very cool, uh, very, very cool store. They give discounts to filmmakers. So yeah. I got, I don't know, 10% off something or something. Something like that. Better yeah, I was, yeah. I, I was just chatting with them, and I say, oh, yeah, I make... I make movies and like, oh, we have discounts for for filmmakers. Yeah. I'm well, like, hell yeah. Yeah, it was when the movie was was showing. Oh, we and he there. asked you why are you here, and you said my movie's oh. showing. He's like, oh, we have a discount if you're a filmmaker, and we're like, ooh, excellent. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, Posterati in New York Posterati. City. Yeah. Very great place. Has oh, a lot of good posters. Amazing posters. Yeah. Uh, original. Yeah. Oh yes, the Australian Mad Max oh, poster. Yeah. That's very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not bad looking. The original. Yeah. Um, Mad I think it's Max. Like, yellow it's like really crazy color um mm. but yeah it's super expensive mm. okay um i don't know if you played this before uh this can also use dual stick but we're gonna do single stick today okay, okay. um it's got lots of options i i have played it i don't think i played it very well but i have played a version of it i'm i'm almost certain yeah, yeah. so maybe not this version is are there other we played the the intel um not intel this we played the original in the twenty six hundred didn't we no I think or what what did I play you on? did play this one but I did. during Atari Age Day last year last year okay that would make yes, sense that's okay right. yeah um a for so, start still yep so uh, yeah arcade one arcade on. now you don't want to use the keypad so press star I mean you can uh, that's not star. I press star. No, you press the pound. That's yeah. still the pound. Oh, star. Sorry. Keypad? Yeah. Trigger is what you want. Okay. Um, there's also dual stick. Twin stick. Um, so okay, that. Trigger. And then classic and new. Probably want to do new first. Because okay. that's a new one for the game. Okay. You do want to use the keypad. Oh, okay. Well, let's do keypad then. So, I'll show you the keypad directions. <laughs> I didn't know if it was better or worse, but I guess it's in order of what you... Okay. Keypad mode. The numeric keypad is used to throw and recall the disc. The numbers are mapped in the direction shown in the uh, oh. image below. So two up, eight down, four left, six right. You can use diagonals. Oh, because that'll oh. make it easier for diagonals. And uh, five is block or crouch. And then you just control with the controller you move with the controller with the stick i yeah. should say so. actually that it's how the original game works oh okay great uh itc says he likes the trigger mode so well we'll see we'll see we'll what works both. i think there's more control with, with the numpad maybe. because you get the diagonals a lot easier to throw and you can move in the opposite direction that you're throwing with the numpad as well good point yeah uh s ramirez uses the keypad you're outnumbered, ITC. We're going to try the keypad first. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 
Go for it. I will start reading things out. Welcome to the game grid. No one has ever escaped from its confines. Oh, yeah. Don't get too close to me because yeah. I. Chase, I have to get you. Ah! Got hit in the head. There you go. And you can press the number again to recall if you missed. You don't have to wait all. Oh, the, the way number? Back. Any number? I think so. Once it hit, it's a wall. It comes back anyway. Um, I, yeah, it does take a little bit again. So. Ah. So, uh, no one has ever escaped from its confines, and now you have to find yourself here. Now you find yourself here, relentlessly attacked by waves of enemy warriors. Armed with a deadly disc, fight off your attackers while avoiding your own discs. Their own discs. Jam open doors to create escape rooms. But be wary of giant identifier. You may never escape. But try to claim the high score before you fall. Terrible. Ah! So you can block by the middle button if if something. I know, but I'm just I'm my my fingers keep, keep shifting on the keypad. Oh, yeah. I see. So I'm like, ah, where are my fingers? Nice de-resing effect. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Open the door. Yeah. That means you can escape through how, that door. How do you recall? You just press the button again. I don't know about but that. But it's already coming back to you once it no, hits the wall. No, I no, but it I hit it before it hit the wall and it didn't come oh, back. Oh, what's let me look up recall. It doesn't say recall. It's it's um oh it says while your disc is in flight, press any of the buttons other oh. than the one you use to throw the that's disc. why. Well that's oh, weird. What did I do? You're pressing pause. See? That's what I saw. Oop, that's reset. Did I die? Maybe I died. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. Or I hit reset. I don't know. Anyway, try that again. Um, game modes. So the new option uses identifier based on a certain film. The classic option recreates the machine's look from a certain classic home video game. Oh. No name. Classic. So we'll do classic this time. Okay. Oh yeah, there. Phaser Cap Games says it's a different button than the one used to throw. I wonder why you wouldn't be able to use the same button. Because once you've thrown it, none of the buttons do anything. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Any reasoning for that? Oh, That's pause. I hit B. <laughs> That's why it was pausing. I was like, why did no, it No, no, pause it just paused that? once. I mean... It has to be a different one. Hmm. Um, if you're happy with your options, press start. So let's learn about the game. I just keep hitting buttons. I'm like, random buttons. Come on. As long as you don't press reset, because then it's game over. Uh, blocking a crouch in either... Enter blocking mode by pressing the appropriate button from your selected mode. In blocking mode, you will hold your disc in front of you anything? in a defensive anything. posture. Come on, anything. <laughs> it's a tiny disc. Oh, God, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I'm trying to keep my finger centered on five, but I just keep hitting. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, good. I have to look. I have to look at them. Really? I'm like trying to. I'm trying desperately to. Got to keep it centered on five. Oh, come and then on. just go up, down. There we go. Walked around. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to hit buttons. <laughs> trying to hit buttons frantically. Yeah. Oh, God. And I'm trying to hit other buttons to recall it, and it's not recalling, so. Come on, something, anything. Hit him in the back, he was crouching. Um, should have worn my uh, Intellivision yes, you should uh, have. Uh, shirt today. But I did wear a shirt with a 5200 on it. It's my only shirt that has anything to do with 5200. Try again with trigger mode. Yeah, Tandy might be better. Well, I, I just, again, if you've never played it with this scheme before, it uh, takes a little while to get used to it. Okay. Um, the game grid. The game grid is the arena in which the game takes place. While the grid is inescapable, doors will open in the walls to allow waves of attackers to enter the arena. These doors will initially be in an open state and will close the next time an attacker enters the arena. It is possible to jam open the doors, which will keep them active even after a new wave enters. To jam open a door, you may either hit it with your flying disc or run directly into it. Oh, you can run into it too. Hmm. Um, if a door uh, 
If, if doors on opposite position in the grids are open or jammed open, you may enter one of the doors to immediately warp to the other side of the grid. This allows you to escape attackers and also summon the identifier before the next wave. Discs in the game grid can be in one of two states. When thrown open by their owners, the disc will appear as a thin line. In this state, the disc is deadly and will damage the opponents of the thrower. When disc is returning to its owner, it will appear as a square. So when it's tiny, it's deadly. When it's uh, big and chunky, it's, uh, it's safe. Now, I also played this a ton. <laughs> On, I'm pretty sure I played it on the Intellivision, but I definitely also played it on the 2600 quite a bit because it's just a really fun game with lots of opponents running around. It gets very frantic. It is cool. I don't think there was an identifier in the 2600 version. I just remember just fighting against guys, but of course I probably d didn't play it properly. <laughs> so I didn't uh, have the manual. You don't want beer. <laughs> He's enemy, like, maybe I do. Enemy yeah. warriors. Uh, so you're fighting against drones. There's armored guys, guards, leaders, hunters, and seekers. Drones are the most basic warriors you will engage. There's nothing particularly special about them. And they will die after a single hit from your disc. Armored warriors are slower than drones, but require two hits to kill. They'll begin appearing when you have reached a score of 15,000. Leader. Leaders are the basic form of the advanced warrior. They have no special abilities, and warriors with advanced discs will revert to leaders if their discs are destroyed. Leaders begin appearing when you have reached a score of 10,000. Oh, what? Weird. Backwards. Hunter. Hunters uh, are advanced warriors and carry special discs that inflict twice the damage of a normal disc does. I always wondered about this, because you're getting hit, but you're not dying, and there's no health bar. It's very interesting. Like, how do you know how much health you have left? Taking damage. You can be hit three times before the warriors defeat you. With each hit, you become slower and yeah, more vulnerable. Oh, no. Punishes you. That which inspired the identifier was not in the 2600 version. Okay. Um... After a few seconds, damage will be recovered and the lost speed will be regained. Warping from one side of the grid to the other through doors also recovers damage. Oh, making these routes extremely valuable. So you do want to smack open those doors and walk through them. So if you open that one in the top left and walk through it, you'll get your um, get some hit points back. You will? Yeah, but the door's gone. Oh, you, there was one there. It, they have to be exactly opposite each other? Yeah, channel? and then you can walk through them and get some hit points back. At 20,000 points, a fourth hit can be taken. At 100,000 points, it will increase to five hits. Armored and guard type attackers also require multiple hits and can recover over time. Um, scoring. What the hell? What kind of, this is a weird score. Points are awarded each time an attacker is destroyed. Or an enemy disc is blocked. The number of points received is determined by your score at the time. So the higher your score, the more points you get when you get somebody. That's that's funny. That's really weird. So the more score you have, the higher score you have. <laughs> Ooh, playing a dangerous game that close to the guy. Oh, hit. There we go. So we're definitely going to play with this two people. We have to compare two people. At the oh, same time. cool. At the same time. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But I think you don't play against enemies? Let me see. I just think play you play against, against each, other? each other. Game modes. Um, plus two, three, or four to play the multiplayer battle modes. The three and four player battle modes require an Atari 5200 with four controller points. We have one, but we only have two people. Oh. Get the cats. Oh, we got you. Ooh, almost got you again. Getting better with the keypad now? <laughs> no. It's, um, I still have to look at it. I, uh, I'm like, oh, I'm hitting, no, I'm hitting diagonal. Oh, my fingers are off again. <laughs> that's, that's how I would describe it. Didn't you play piano as a kid? No. Okay. No. Missing skill. <laughs> 
Uh, it's programmed by Ryan Whitmer. Music and sound effects, Bobby Clark. Uh, manual text, Ryan Whitmer. Manual layout, G. Tony Morse. New identifier design, Vladimir Zuniga. Did uh, some of the graphics in the game. I'm wearing a shirt. What a coincidence. Uh, cover art, Lou Graziani. Additional artwork, uh, Atari Boy 2600, uh, published by Atari Age. Uh, battle mode. Battle mode allows two, three, or four players to fight each other in game grid. The battle is conducted as a series of rounds. In each round, all players fight until only one remains. Each player has a score. At the end of each round, if any player has a score of at least 10 points, the battle will end, and the player with the highest score is the winner. Each time a player is destroyed, all players that are still alive receive one point. Each player is able to take five hits, but all of the recovery functions present in the arcade mode are disabled. Ba damage in battle mode is permanent. Doors will randomly open around the arena and may be jammed open just in the arcade mode. Before each round, a round all doors will be closed. Oh, you did it! Yay! Oh, they're still open. Can you get through it again? I don't know. I did a couple of times. Mm. Nice two for one shot, Nostalgia said. Did you get two guys in one shot? I did. I, I had nice. a couple of. You're getting better. Well, yeah, you get more used to this, definitely. A lot of guys. <laughs> also, they dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. <laughs> dodgy. Uh. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Phaser Cat Games. Bobby's sound work broke the emulator I was using for de development. Oh, wow. Oh, uh oh. What do I do with this guy? Shoot him. Shoot him! When? Start shooting! Now! I didn't read about him. I don't know. Avoid everything and shoot him. That's what I say right now. Where is it? There it is. Massive identifier will periodically arrive in the arena to repair the doors that you have jammed open. The identifier is instantly lethal to the touch, so don't go near it. Once the identifier begins its work, it will dispatch a paralyzer probe to immobilize you. The probe cannot be destroyed. The identifier is one weak spot. It's eye. Oh. When the eye turns white, a well-placed disc will break it. There we go. Score. This will score big points and also preserves the doors that have not yet been repaired. The eye can be struck from either side, uh, from the side, if you can get your disc past its defensive shields. It, will also be hit, it can also be hit from directly above, but the paralyzer probe will react more quickly to stop you from exploiting this weakness. The identifier will appear between waves... Uh, if you use a pair of opposite doors to warp across the grid. It will also appear at random, and the chances of it arriving increase as you jam open more doors. So you want the identifier to get big points. Kitten! <laughs> You're not helping things. But I'm cute. Yes, you are cute. Hey, you can be over here. So you've got some more guys on the field now. There's the a yellow green guy, guy is a hunter. So let's read a bit about the a hunter. Faster. Uh, inflicts twice the damage. Um, normal speed, but twice the damage. Jamming open doors, it looks like. Good. Yeah, trying to. Good for, um. Yeah, you have to get it before you kill them. your health back. It's a really cool mechanism to get your health back. Ah. Would be nice to have some indicator of your health on the screen. Yeah, I have like, no idea what my health like is. Like your color. Um, a little what? dots or something. Looks like you're recording now. Good. Yeah, it's getting, it's all right. <laughs> getting better. Yeah, but every once in a while my fingers just get out of place. Oh. And, and it's like I shoot it and I'm like, ah, I'm going diagonal. <laughs> Didn't mean that. 
Ooh, blocked it. Oh no, he, some of them take multiple hits. He seems to block. Ooh, two with one hit. Nice. nice. Get the door down. Okay, go for the eye. Goes white. Good shot. Oh, got it lined up. Oh, oh, my oh, what? Do you have to hit it when it's on its side, or do you just have to do the perfect horizontal spot? Yeah. Oh my god, that was really quick. You don't get much uh, time to try and defeat him. The Intellivision uh, didn't have a health indicator, so I chose to copy that. That yeah. makes sense. I mean, you don't. You can tell by how slow you're going, I'm guessing. When you really feel it when you um, get hit, when you get slow. Uh, when you get slow, yeah. I mean, it, it's funny because there's so much happening on the screen. It's hard sometimes to tell. Sometimes you're like, ah, oh, I got hit, but it, it's actually being returned. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, no! no. Oh, you're running right away from it. No! Twenty-six thousand. You must have got some extra health now. I must have. What is it at? I can't remember? What did I read out? Uh, no. Tw yeah, you got a, a four, four points of health now. Do I? Yeah. Well, I don't know. If At maximum. That's what I still have. At maximum, you do. Oh, you just lost one. There. Yeah. And another one. And another one. <laughs> Get really close in on them. Oh well, you kind of have to, or it's it's hard to hit them if you're not reasonably close. What you want to do is wait until they Oof. until they shoot. Right. Then dodge and it. Then, and then and then aim for them. That's true. Uh, oh, no, just got me. Do it. Have been using diagonals or you're mostly doing it's it? hard it's hard to have get the judge. diagonal and get your finger back to the right position is what i find Ooh. Ooh, nice there. oh another hit oh, oh. oh. My, my hands are getting tired god damn oh, stop it. Why is that bouncing around? What is going on with the green know. guy? I don't know. The green guy has like some crazy shot. What? He's a guard. Let's read it. Oh. Guards are the most dangerous opponents. Guards will be on. Uh, guards do not carry discs. Instead, choosing to use a st deadly stun rod. Yeah. That will instantly defeat you if you touch it. What? Guards no. require four He's shooting. hits to kill. He's shooting. Are you sure that's the right one? He's shooting something. His, but his, his uh, thing seems to ricochet around. Oh, maybe that's a leader. Warriors with advanced discs. Yeah, that makes sense. That's not the guard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get the colors wrong. Yeah, so we have some um, guard. Was there skill levels? No. You, you just played. Right? Yep. Yeah. I don't remember there being a skill level adjustment. Oh, that's not green. That's, that's kind, like of, kind that's of a kind white. Of white. Green color. No, there's two of them! No! Oh my god! At least they take one hit. Uh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, they only take one hit. I, I'm, I am... Truly surprised I haven't died yet. Yeah, me too. I feel like, like I've taken a billion hits. And you haven't ah! been going through doors either. Have you been blocking them? Or no? No. Oh, weird. Is, is something funny? Am I in on a... Oh, there we go. There I'm good. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. not the guard. They show up at a million points. Okay. Oh. I'm only okay. at 48,000 points. My turn. Finally. Oh, that hurts the hands. I'm unscrewing this one too. A couple of times at least, yeah. So I'm gonna do keypad. So Old keyboards that didn't have home row dots. We used to dab a bead of super glue to make touch typing oh, easier. Oh, smart. Yeah, yeah, because you need to you need to find your middle finger back to the middle. Um You will the game over. Yeah, I was my yeah. hand was beginning to cramp up, so it's probably a good time to for you to give it a whirl. I'm sure you'll beat my fifty-eight thousand. 
A million points. That must take a really long time. I'm sure if you're more talented and you and, and you're able to hit the guards a little faster than me, you would get there well, faster. Well, the the points increase as your points increase. Like they your, do. Your yes, that is true. So that is true. Some diagonals are not. God. Stop it! <laughs> it does take a while to used to for sure. You're using keyboard, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just more flexible. Yeah. Oh, good job. Two in one. Thank you. It's always nice to get two in one. I never got three in one, but I, I don't doubt it's not possible. Oh, yeah? You just, you just have to get lucky and have them all lined up in a row. Yeah. Your health is a mystery in this game. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell you're, when you okay. get really slow, you're like, oh, no, I'm about to die. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I bet you, I bet you. It doesn't, his eye doesn't go till he's in the middle. Do you have to do it from the top down, or? You can, but it says it's not. <gasps> Got him. Didn't I get him? No. Oh, come on. Oh. No, nope, too low. Oh, we got you! Are you dead? Maybe I'm just stunned. Oh, there we go. Like, oh wow, that's that's a short, that's very hard. short period of time. Yeah, it says you can get it from the top, but he has like some defense. I can't remember what I read, but it's harder from the top. Oh, oh my god! That pattern at the top reminds me of like old Windows um, backgrounds. <laughs> Tiled backgrounds. Win ninety five or something. I don't know when that was, but Win ninety five. Windows three one. Windows ninety eight. <laughs> I don't know the the little pattern tiled backgrounds. Oh. Ah. My disc back. Walk into it. No. Diagonal. <laughs> oh. Diagonals oh. are hard to judge. Mm. I always use the coffee bean background for Windows 3.11. I had the coffee bean, bean background too. <laughs> I remember that background. The diagonal's not like 45 degrees. Uh, it's a little bit higher than 45, so it's hard to judge. Yeah, you stay in the corner. His shots seem faster than. I don't know, they're about the same, maybe. No! You just dodged it. How am I having so much life? Am I regaining it? Oh, you do regain it. Like, slowly. Over. As you just stand there and move. Oh, I see. That's why. It's a slow regaining of life. lot of discussion around the angle of the diagonal. It kind of varies with your telephone. Really? Oh, oh boy. Interesting. Let's make it challenging to <laughs> figure out what to program. God. No! <laughs> what a terrible game. So I don't know how I got 48,000 on that game. <laughs> I think I came play very two close. Players. I think that I came very close to dying on a couple of occasions there. You really should try trigger mode. <laughs> well, I have to play trigger mode here. Yeah. Well, I don't have to. I've got it. I've got a keypad. Oh, that can... might be easier or harder. Do you think? Um, we'll see. Okay. Because we both have to play the same. Start A. A B C. C for reset. Uh, two. two battle. Oh, we can set. Okay. I think I'm going to use the um, trigger just because. So it's what is separate. trigger? What is trigger? You move, press the button in the direction oh, that you want I to throw see. it. I'm going to try keypad again. Okay. This is, I've kind of gotten used to it, but kind of. <laughs> Who am I? Red. You red. Okay, stop! Stop! Don't kill me! Don't! Don't kill me! Okay. One second. Okay, I won't kill you. I have to calibrate my thing. Yes. Yeah. Come go to the middle and. Well, I'm still going a little bit left. There we go. 
Okay, I'm happy. my defensive on this joystick. I feel like I'm hitting you and there's no point difference. Are you nope, crouching? You have to kill me. You have to kill oh, me. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed. Oh, wait. You're, you're, you're defending. How did I get into that mode? Go okay, sorry. No, I'll let you figure it out. Down? Mm. Down? No? No, I don't think this joystick is good for that. No? I think I need to use a Genesis joystick or something that the second button actually works. I'll have to read up on this. Attachment. But for now, it's one button. Which luckily kind of works with this game. can tell when you're close one, one. to the end. Yeah, you get really slow. It's weird I'm in like protective mode immediately. It's weird. Oh, just I don't know if I get that, yeah. Oh, that was very so close. close. Ah. Oh, you got me. That was a close battle. No, you weren't. You, I, I wasn't hitting you at all. <laughs> Good night, uh, pseudo graphics. Thanks for tuning in. Oh. I'm chonky, slow. Oh, oh no. gotcha. No! Oh, I'm so slow. Oh my god, it gets worse as you play worse. It does. <laughs> but that's the punishment. Oh, no! No! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a good way to play it. A two-player match will take forever. I should have added a max score. So oh. can... Well, we'll play till... Uh, uh, one more. <laughs> yeah, one, one more, more dad. point. Match point. I'm losing my fingering here. Playing with the trigger is not bad. Oh, damn it. Um, you get used to it very quick to have to like just turn around for a second. You mean to To recall? do direction. No, just to, to do the direction. Like if you're running and you want to shoot it behind you, you just turn around and then shoot it and keep running. 
I hitting? Super slow now. Yes. Oh no, that last last level. Good stuff. Yeah, Getting this working with fine. four keypads at once was a major technical achievement. Mm. Not that I'm bragging or anything. <laughs> I bet that's a lot of inputs at once mm. going on um, and keeping track of all of them. Uh, really fun game. Mm -hmm. I would like to play one more game. Um, mm. Solo. Solo. Yeah. Reset. No. No reset. There we go. Great um, cat. They're all but high using and warm. The trigger. Okay. Using the trigger. Hi. Cats are back. Their mental timer has gone off. Tree time. Hmm? Oh, hello. Actually, I won't play. It, it it's you a sure? Long, it's a long game. It is a long game. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, sweeties. Which is Rat Catcher. Now, I don't have the cartridge for this one because it was before my time a okay. little bit. and Before I had a working 5200. But I do have the binary um, for this. I believe this is an original game by Ryan Whitmer. Nice. Um, so let me switch this out. And keep that going. There you go. I have cats everywhere. Cats, 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 cats. Cats everywhere. Cats. A lot of 5200 games require you to pause before reset. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm learning about the 5200 then. Yeah. <laughs> um, Rat Catcher from 2016. Yep, yeah, that's the directory. Go for it. Yep. Yeah. And go for it. Rat Catcher. Nice. Starring Biff, Buzz, Porkchop. Pork <laughs> there you go. Uh, this builds from September 4th, 2020. It's another 32K game. Um, all these games are available in the Atari Age store, except not Robin Banks yet. Okay. Soon, not yet. I've heard. Oh, okay. Soon, very soon, I think, is the latest quote I've they read. They had from it in Al. Portland, though, didn't they? They did. Yes. So it has been out. Okay. Um, so if you're lucky to make it to Portland, you Excellent. could have got. A copy for yourself. Very nice. Um, so his first post uh, says, Hello, longtime fan of the site and store customer. Yeah. This is from when he posted first on Ratcatcher in oh. 2016. 16. I've been interested in Atari homebrew scene for a long time, and a few years ago I came up with a project suitable for 5200. I chose the 5200 because it always had a legendary status in my mind from when I was a kid. Mm. I never had one myself, but knew a few people that did and never ceased to blow me away. I finally bought my own 5200 a few years ago and began collecting games. As a longtime game programmer, I wanted to try my hand at 5200 development. Attending one of David Crane's talks at Portland Retro Gaming Expo inspired something I've called Rat Catcher. It's a one to three player game featuring sewer workers running around dangerous sewer collecting rats while avoiding alligators and other hazards. Gotcha. There we go. You Electric rats. rats. Uh, the game was simultaneously developed for the 5200 and a number of PC platforms. It's also a licensed project under GPL3, so all of the source code is included. It's my first 6502 project, so the code is probably awful. But I still hope it helps somebody out. It's currently in beta, blah, blah, blah. Um, there we go. And from the uh, store page, it says, The city sewer needs a cleaning. Rats have infested the city sewer system. Biff, Buzz, and Porkchop been hired by the mayor to deal with the problem. Nice. But the sewers are a dangerous place. Nasty alligators prowl the pipes. Choking gas drifts about. Mm -hmm. Charges of ball lightning spark up the darkness and mysterious sewer gremlins love to play pranks. Mm. The water system has been diverted to a backup tank, but if the pressure gets too high, the tank will discharge a dangerous flow of water. Can the rat catchers use this water to their advantage or will it ruin their day when it releases at the wrong moment? Mm. Ratcatcher is a simple arcade-style game for three players. 
Up, up to three players, up to I'm three. guessing. Largely inspired by Mario Brothers and Taito's Zookeeper. Oh. The city sewer has been overrun by nasty critters. Grab some friends and clean it out. The rats need to be caught. Trap them with the sewer gates if you can. But beware of deadly alligators that prowl the depths. The city water system can keep them under control, but deadlier hazards await you as descend into the depths. Rat Catcher features three, simul three players simultaneous action as you and two friends or enemies race to rack up the most points. Work with your partners using the gate and water system to keep things under control or undermine your competitors, leaving them in the, in the depths as alligator food. Okay. So we're both going to play at once. So if you can... Um, Oh, good night, Nostalgic. Good night, Nostalgic. Pork Chops also in Magical, Magical Fairy nice. Force. Oh, yes, I remember that name. So if we can change to two player. Oh, I hit start. Uh, reset. See? Pause and reset. There you go. So what Convenient. am I hitting? Uh, well, the star to change star. players to two player. Okay. And start her up. Cat, can you stop? Can you stop, Cat? So, I am pink. How do I go to different floors? Um, you... Where are you? Go to the lever, and what it tells... Lever? So, there's a lever. I'm right by the lever. You see this? Yeah. You press the button, and the green thing changes what level. And so, if I go in the pipe, I'll come out that one. Ah, alligators. Ah, going in the same pipe. If you don't change it, it'll just go to the same pipe again. I'm very confused. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Oh, you go across? Okay. Ah. Ah, I got eaten. Oh, I got chewed on. So you have to release. So there's water pressure at the top. Yeah, I get that. Which will wash things down, including you. Okay. Which is very reminiscent of Bubble Bobble, actually. Try this again. So you can't release it until it's full, it looks like. So I don't see any. Oh, there's a wrap. I can't get to it. Ooh, go, go there. Nice. Okay. So. Where do we end up? Sure. Down here. Oh, okay. Let's go back up to the top here. Oh, right. Yeah. All right, get back here. So the water's coming. So I'm not sure on the water. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you can move up and down the guards. Oh, you can trap the alligators then. Okay, alligator. Oh, I just went right into now. There. Oh my god, I just opened a gate to the alligator. How did you trap them? Oh, those other switches. Oh, you can, yeah, the other uh, switches can uh, okay. trap them. I'm dead now. I, I'm, I, it's, it's almost easier to play as a single player, I think, because you're doing stuff, and then I'm like, where the, where the hell am I going? So, maybe play as a single player first before okay. we play as two. Sure. It'll be easier to figure it out. And the water. Oh, it's going good. Yes, going I'm very well. Playing some 5200 Atari 5200 games. Do you want me to play as single player? Or you yeah, play? you play as single player. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, you're flipping switches and running around, yeah. and I'm like, what, what, we get, <laughs> what is going on? I haven't figured out the water yet. Well, the or water the just pushes you. It just pushes you into the... Because the alarm tells you that... It just look. pushes you into the... In, no, you can dictate where the water is. Oh, by hitting that switch. Yeah, by flipping the switch, and then you can release the water on the left or the right. Oh. So if I go, okay, I'm going to flush these alligators out. Boom. Aha! Oh, I'm confused. I don't even know what you did there. I don't even know what you clicked. Okay. See this? Yeah. And I'm moving the green dot. Yeah, I get that. Uh, then you can dictate where you want to go. I'm gonna get that right. Come here. So the green dot's at the top, so I go in the sewer pipe, I come out that one because it says the green dot. No, I understand that, but where oh. does the water come out? Okay, so I want the water to be on the third level. I move it to the third level. Throw the right switch, it comes out the right pipe on the green dot. Where, where you have the green dot highlighted. Yep. And then where the green dot's highlighted, wherever you go in a pipe, you'll come out that green dot. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That and the sense. other ones, you can move up and down these things. So if I want this alligator to 
be able to. Oh, you can loosen them up now. Alligator. Oh. Come here. Come here. Go there. Good alligator. Oh, there's an alligator. Oh, God. <gasps> what did you do? Well, I trapped... No! Now, do the alligators do the same thing? So let's put that here. So it only puts the alligator upside down. So can I get that alligator now? I thought he was going to kill you. Time's up. So you only get a certain mm. amount of time on it. Fewer than five rats caught. Staged failed. You have to use the water to flush the gators. Flush those gators! Flush them out. <laughs> But I made it to stage two. This is a very hard no game bonus. to explain. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, have to kind of figure it out. I think I've got it. Flush those gators. So there's there. a gator. Flush him out. But he's just upside down. So do I have to... And then you want to go get... Get that rat. So if you don't change the... Um... It's an electric rat. Is that a bad thing? I'll get my five rats this time. Yeah. There we go. Lots of rats. So it gives you a warning when an alligator's coming out. Oops. He ran into the Yeah. Oh, no! Ah! And if you don't change it, after you go through it, it just stays there, mm. right? Gators are harmless when flipped. Okay. Pretty clever alligator spray. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a look at that again. It's like can a really you squish an alligator with the ball. I think you can only trap it. There's alligator, and he's fully in the open. There's no wall, so I should be able to just flush him out, and he's gone. Okay. When he hits a wall, I think he just goes on his back. He ran off. Oh, bottom. Oh. oh. What is that? Cherry! No! Oh, God. Ah, oh, I missed, missed it. it. Got the rat, though. Yeah, I did. Ha ha ha! I pushed you both out. <laughs> Funny. Oh. oh, the alligator. The light flashes when the alligator's about to come out. Yeah. That I figured out. No! Oh, passed one too many. Okay. Ready to play? Mm. No. You, you keep, playing. keep playing. You're doing a better job. Gator with uh, four times width player. Oh, okay. Mm. That's that's You can use the smart. second button to move the open pipe up. Oh, down and up. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. No, it's good to know. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably not <gasps> get that rat! Right. Not remember it. Ah! It's just... It just oh. pushes you up against it, yeah. And it'll push you to where you're switched to if it is switched yeah. somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it pushed me to that. Yeah. So I go here, I switch it down to this one. This is like a bunch of alligators. So when it's red, I can flip it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that chair again. I'm going to get it this time. Oh, it's only 100. A lot, a you lot have to, to take, pay attention take, um, to. Take account of. Yeah. Alligators everywhere. The rats run away from you. It's interesting, though. I haven't seen a game like this before, where no, it's you have this flushing feature and alligators, and then rats, and you run out of time if you don't get them all fast enough. Get that rat. Get it. Get it. Get oh. it. He, I love how he goes. Ah! <laughs> he runs off. <laughs> You don't get points for flushing alligators. No, it just clears okay. clears them out, right? Yeah. And only temporarily they come back. Yeah. Get back. I love how they how oh. he starts moving faster. Time's up. No, I should have got five or more rats this time. Eight. Mm. Zero points. Mm. Why zero? <laughs> Rat times eight equals zero? Why? 
how many rats do you need? Oh, you need to get 10 rats. Oh, my God. So you didn't God. actually get the bonus because you didn't get all 10. Oh, my God. So many rats. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. You go away. Okay, I really got to go after these rats. Oh, now it's hard because uh, there's so many gates. There's an electric rat. Electric rats. Rat on that alligator. Oh, I'm not going there. Nope. Get him. Oh, no! Can they go through walls? No, no they can't. He's like, ah, panic! Kudos to the developer for originality. I agree, Atari 2600 dude. Really original. Yeah. Oh, there's an apple? Looks like a tomato to me. Oh. 200. Good job. Uh, let's go here. I wonder if you flip them upside down. Does that kind of prevent more alligators from... Um, I don't know. Maybe. They're trapped. I'll flush the rat out. Too. Get that ready. I need so many rats. So the top is the only. No! Nope. Ah! No! Ah! The top's the only part where you can walk across completely at yeah. all times. Time's up! Fewer th stage failed. Mm. Oh, you lose a life! Oh my god, that's. <laughs> that's punishment. Wow. Collect coins! Gate switches are broken! Okay, this is Mario Brothers. Uh, okay, where's the coins? Oh, there's a coin. Ah! Oh, that was good. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, they're moving. Uh. Now they're all on the other side. No, oh, no, they God. eventually come back on your side. Oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. I think I got a few. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if oh, it's possible boy. to get all of them. This is where I die. This is where I die. Oh, got a gold one. Those count for... No, they're just no for one you round. still need ten. Ah, no. No. Those are just points. Oh, nope. what? That's what? gas. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, that was not good. Swamp gas. Get some rats. I need rats. There he is. Rats, give me the rats. Um, now, if I flush that out, he's upside. Oh, where'd he go? I think they're only upside down when they hit a wall. Oh. They have to hit a wall and then they flip upside down. Like this one right here. Yeah, now he hits a wall and he's upside down. Rat. But, oh. <gasps> oh, you're gonna Oof. die. I Oof. Didn't. Time's up. Did I get five? I think I might. Oh, seven. Okay. Mm. Still zero because I didn't get ten. Mm -hmm. If you don't clear the gators, the rats won't show up on that mm -hmm. floor. 
but are they all forced to a certain floor? Like if I do all the gators on yeah. two, three, four, I can kind of force the rats all to go on floor five. Oh, you need to flip one of those here. Yeah. That's one, I guess. Or is that something good? Is that good? No. It doesn't look good. No. <laughs> it's not. None, none of that floating <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, your turn to Me play it. That's going to be very poor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can give it a try. Yeah. No, it's fun. Uh... I don't actually remember the answer to that. Because... <laughs> You could program it either two ways. It's like, okay, rat's coming out on floor two. Check for a ga gator. Okay, no rat. Or rat needs to come out. Let's find a floor where it can come out, and then it does come Oops. out. Ooh, oh, get out of there. Flip it. Get that rat. -y. Get him. The doors are actually good. I never really use the doors much. No! <laughs> oh. Oh. Right on the bottom. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of moving parts. It is so it comes down to you being there there being a two sprite limit. Oh, I see. So you built it into the game. It's like, oh, rats don't come if there's a gator there. So, um... Really, just looking at the gators right now, because I was playing. Yeah, really, really, uh, really good gator for that length, for that uh, width of it. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Quad width, uh... Eight pixel gators. Oh, there's a lot of gators. Flush those gators. No! Run! Gotta no! Swim. Gotta flip it! Oh, I did <laughs> terrible there. Don't think I hit five. Oh, I just hit five. Wow. The electric rats will start electrifying doors when you get them oh, wet. That's funny. Oh. What city is a sewer in? I assume New York, but <laughs> they do have the most terrifying. Uh, Florida? Lots of gators in Florida. But people might be flushing gators down the sewer system in New York. Don't run away! <laughs> no! Switch it! Go! Yep. Ay, ay, ay. Oh! Oh! Did you get that rat? No. Oh no, I didn't! I don't know if you did. Get that ready. Get up. Oh, go. Get it. Get it. Oh, gator's going to come out there. So many gators. Oh, Oops. Oh, right uh, into the gator. Uh, let's play two interesting. player. Interesting. I would guess Miami, except the bottom two levels aren't full of seawater. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play one more with two players. Okay. You have to do it. Oh, yes. Uh, what are we? Not a star for two. And eight. It is harder with two. Because you, you... You're flipping things around I all the know. time, right? Now, do we both have to get Why don't I ten control? rats? I'm going to guess that. Or is it a cooperative kind of thing? It's cumulative rats. So we're working together. Oh, no! no! Oh. Needed to be switched to... Oh. I don't quite get it. I don't quite... How can you tell what side it's going to come out? You flip once... Oh, if you don't flip it, I don't think you it's know. It's random. Random. So you do want to flip it. Ooh, you got that. <laughs> I don't know if it matters. <laughs> we do have our own points, but... Um... Get out of here. 
kind of good one of us takes the left and one of us takes the right. That keeps it fairly organized. Um, there. Nice. Yeah. Just have to make sure the Down on the bottom. What level does it have to get up to? Yellow, I guess, at least? Yeah, it does, because it flips up on yellow. Oh, gotcha. Four more to get. Oh, I think we didn't lose a life, at least. I think the automatic water alternates got sides. Four. I got two, we got six. No, I've nice. never witnessed the chaos of a three-player game. What, yeah, we're we'll gonna, be three with Darcy sometime, yeah. Now that I have a four-port 5200, yeah. this is one of the few systems that has four players, plus mm. the Quadtari now. Mm. So we'll have another four-player day. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it'll introduce, we can play curling. I'll hold curling off till then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. he made curling uh, for the 5200. Real sports curling. Real mm. sports. Curling. Um, uh, Mule, which is not a new game, but it's an old game, but it's mm. super fun. Darcy mm. and I used to play it all the time. On the Commodore 64. Oh, so you're exceptionally good at it? Is that what you're uh, saying? Not terrible. Oh, what happened? I Did paused you pause it. it. Oh, yeah. smart. <laughs> I forgot about pause on this. Yeah, there is some pause. Okay, Mr. Alligator. You get flushed. Wraps for me. Wraps for you, too. Uh, Someone gets him. This one. Yeah. Flush them out. Rats. Oh, one more rat. We've got ten. Yay! Oh, that's, that's the end of a stage. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Four, now we six. get bonus points. Excellent. Hooray for bonus points. We actually did it. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring in Darcy and Erlen to do a four player day again. Okay, awesome. Yeah. You need to bring Erlen back. Yeah. Find a suitable set of games. Yep. We can talk all about the uh, oh, coins. online chess controversies <laughs> that have been right. plaguing the chess world. I think he, well, I don't know if he knows much about that, but still. I only have one button on this one. Oh, he would know all about that. I would think so. Selection upward because I only have one button that functions. I'll have to read up on this and see what uh, compatible joysticks. Oh, I can't move. Uh... Oh no, they're random on this level. That's right. What do we do? It doesn't add them up. It, that no, been... it just adds the score, I guess. Yeah. Okay, you control the right, I control the left. I yep. think this works out incredibly well. Oh, yeah. Um, we just have to... Um, <gasps> ah! Oh, where am I going? Oh, it's ah! okay. You need to get out of there. I need to go back to You my... need to go back to your... Get on your side! <laughs> it's get, too confusing. Get back on your side. This is not how this game is played. Um, I remember when you 
you first started, you had somebody else on. Can't remember the name. I had a couple people come in for one-offs. Yes. I had Corey one time. Yes, you did a Corey. Um, what else have I had on? Do you have Tamara on it once? No. No. I remember Corey. Yeah. And another Corey. Did oh yeah, the other Corey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on for one one show. But just one each. Yeah. I don't think. Oh my um, goodness, we're so cool. Get that rat. Get that ah. electric rat. Do the electric rat. Do the electric rat. It's the newest dance. Ah! Okay, it's squished. Did I lose a life because of that? Yes, you do. At least I got the rat. Oh, it's flushed. Hey, we both benefit. It's all good. It's all good. There's no gators, but there will be one there. Bye-bye. Yep. Goodbye, gator. Where what? are the rats? No rats have shown up. Me. Oh, down on your side there. It's out for like one second. No! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, no! At least it didn't kill me. This is an awesome game. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Much Once you get with used people. to it, it makes a lot of sense. It does. Yeah. It's a lot easier to understand after you play it for just a little bit. You get to. I Yay. don't really care about the doors too much. Like, no, I, I keep forgetting you can flip them, actually. Yeah, it's like... Mm, yeah, mm. like, oh, I can flip that out of my way. But it just but puts I, it I to another it. place that's just equally as annoying. Yeah, so, it's true. Yeah, we did it. Yay. Actually <laughs> beat the level. We're getting there. Oh, it's already charged up. Uh... Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Bye -bye. <laughs> He's like, ah! He didn't know where to go. He was flipping out. Doors are handy then. Gator at the bottom. Does it flush out other things too? Oh, you can flush it at any time. Oh, what is that? I'm guessing I shouldn't get that. What is that? Brian, what's that thing? <laughs> no, what? what? <gasps> Water. No, you're getting all of them. It doesn't matter if it's cooperative. No, but like none are coming out my side at all. There we go, finally one. <laughs> does clear it out if there's bad stuff. Something. Ah, so two people. You think yeah. the gators eat the rats eventually. <laughs> Guess they're well fed. Or the gators are like, no, we don't touch those. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. I can see this being an arcade game. Quite, yeah, quite easily it's very arcade -y. Back in um, the 80s. Uh, let's clear this guy out. Wrap them. <gasps> no! Oh, you got me! Oh no! What was it? It was a flying disc. I think I'm dead. I am dead. Oh no! Oh, that's okay. It's gonna be much well. harder. No, well, it was going pretty well with two people. Yeah. Johnny the Whiz Kid. That game looks cool. It is. It's you guys really aren't playing good. risky enough. Need some player versus player shenanigans. <laughs> We're trying to pass. We're trying to get through the levels. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the shenanigans though. I can see how you flush people into into gators yeah. and because it is that guy it is opens doors. It's not a joint score. No. You have individual scores, so yeah, you could really be pushing to uh, 
to destroy the other player, right? But, yeah. but it depends on what you try. Yeah, you're gonna get wet. There you go. Did you lose a life? No. No, where are your lives? Zero, life zero, two. So you have two lives. Yeah. I didn't lose one because I saw it, unless it took it before I could manage to see it. Got some points because you got the ten. <laughs> yeah, that's Very true. Very nice. I'll answer that in a second. Yeah. Gate switches are broken. Okay. Oh, is it coins? Yay! Coiny coins. This I always feel I don't get enough coins. Uh it's it's easier with two because you would just each take it like a side. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, you're much better just sticking to a side because it's hard to go back and forth. It wastes a lot of time. Yeah, it does. It's been so long since I've seen this game, it's kind of weird, says Phaser Cat <laughs> Games. Oh, I bet. It's funny when you have a project you worked on a lot and then you haven't looked at it in a while and then you look back at it and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot. Nothing on this side. Oh, oh, I can run and get that done. Get two? Maybe? Maybe? No. Still have two lives left. Mm hmm. You can pause if you want. Do you want to answer sure. that question? Yeah. Uh, Johnny the Wizkid, how are you? Good. I wanted to talk to you about the Atari XEGS. XE actually game system another kind of yeah conversion from the computer system mm -hmm. to a game system and their games i've looked through a couple of those games and it seems some are on cartridge yes some are on floppy disk not really for the xegs but you can hook up floppy drives because it didn't come with a floppy drive mm. official one is that true like some of the games are only on floppy disks because i tried looking to buy some it's so hard to find in ebay yeah some games were only mm. on cartridge and okay. some were only on disk okay so yeah it depends if it was released on cartridge or not mm. um but you could buy um an add-on like an avg cart and um get them off the internet but mm. if you want to go like actual cartridges yeah you're gonna have to buy a floppy disk and or cartridges and yeah go it's that your route. one or the other yep mm. um yeah they can get really expensive yeah mm. might be too easy if you play it a certain way mm. yep it's uh it's very safe because there's i just constantly retreat to the top yeah and, and that you're 100 percent safe up well not 100 no but. no but like playing games on the show so then i go oh i can exploit this <laughs> rats no it got rid of the rats so all i do is go keep going back up to the top flush the bad things ah get him oh good Flash. No. There's no gators. Crap. Um, yeah, flushed. Careful. If I do it first. Yep. <laughs> you do get a significantly smaller bonus if you take longer, so there are more points if you play riskier. That was very quick. That was very to get quick. those rats. You got so. a lot of bonus there. There was like one gator and ten rats came out. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to stop playing. Okay, because <laughs> we I, have one more game I, to play, I, right? I seem yeah. to be doing okay on this. Yeah, we figured um, it out. <laughs> really good game. Mm. I want to play this with three players for sure. Okay. Because there's going to be chaos. Yeah. So we need to add this to the games that you can play with three players. Okay. The next game and last game, for example, Boulder Dash Narcon 2 Adept, I think it's only on floppy disk. I, I'm not sure on what's, what's on cartridge. Where? I'm not yeah. an expert on the 
Um, cartridge. Is, is, is it better bit. on one than the other? Sometimes it is. Is it? Sometimes there's different versions because okay. there's more room on one or the other. Gotcha. Um, so I would, if you want a specific game, like say Boulder Dash, I would, and it comes on both, I would definitely compare. Like look it up online? Look it up thing? online. It's like, what is the difference? What comes with it? Some things have level editors, let's say, just for example. And maybe you can save your levels to the floppy. But the mm. cartridge version, you can't. Like, there'd be differences in there. Uh, the ROM size of this game that we're about to play is massive. Massive. All the other ones were 32 that um, that Ryan made. Okay. Okay. So, this is Atari Blast. Um, now, there's original music and alt music. So, Do original. I don't know. Yeah. The the uh, hybrid. So the size of this game is 1,248k. And it dynamically loads the next what? level off the cart as it goes. Oh. So it's kind of emulating a floppy disk, sort of. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, it's 1,248. <laughs> yeah. It's really big. Yeah. It's really, really big. Um, it was uh, first posted in 2013 uh, for the 5200 version. Gotcha. Uh, this build was uh, from October 15, 2016. It's made by Paul Lay, Playsoft, uh, Kiwi Love by for the graphics, um, and uh, some of the music was made by Micah. Other games uh, Paul Lay has made, 1942, Atari Bass, Biscuits in Hell, super awesome game. Uh, let's see the other ones that I recognize. Scramble he made. Uh, tons and tons of games. We did play the 8-bit version of this game on September 18th, 2019. Um, so I would just go for it. Okay. I've got what the power-ups are here. Because those are really the only thing you really can care about. I would do auto-fire. Because manual just means you hold it down. I don't know. So we get those pickups. This app you can see is a pickup. So you have two. Don't hit the sides. Don't hit those things. The things that flash. And the things that. Um. We'll take a look at. Them. Oh yeah, what those things at the bottom of yes and D. Get the B in the bla blade and turn it into play. My god, there's so much on the screen. <laughs> Super crazy. There's much pickup. C for cloak, I for invincible, heart replenishes shields and repairs damage, shield replenishes shields, spanner repairs damage. So there's shields and damage. Oh yeah, bring on the lasers. Oh no, it doesn't last forever. Oh. So as your ship gets damaged in this game, it starts acting and shooting wonky. So, but you can recover from by getting those pickups. Um, P is photons. Your missiles will replace, will replace by photons. L for laser, S for spread, which I like, uh, F for fast. So S for spread. So that ah. leaves oh my your god. shots back and forth. Or your shields are almost Oh my up. god. This is really hard. There's so much going on. <laughs> so a lot going on. Yeah, this is an amazing game. I need help. Thank you. Thank you, heart. There you go. Boss time. I don't know. Ah! Shoot his shots, which is good. And it has music and backgrounds and character graphics in the game from other games. So if you recognize things like the music. Um, oh, get him when he's Stop shooting, because he kind of defends himself with his shots. Space Invader, yeah. Space Invader graphic in the background. And I 
think one of the sayings that he, when he posted this is like, this this is to show off what the 5200 can do. Power ups! How do you even hit this jackass? He has a very small window of opportunity when he doesn't fire, and that's kind of when you have to hit it. Oh, I like this. This is my favorite pickup. <laughs> so you're getting points, and your shield is in damage. You're fine now. They're all full, which is good. Nice! So it started, this game started, like, if you want to continue on, you memorize the blast codes. Nice! Yeah. You know? <laughs> He said, in 2013, he said, I don't know if you remember my little demo in the 2013 New Year's disc, but here's an update. So don't hit the signs. They can hurt you. Yeah, I, I, you know, unfortunately, oh my god. Me, oh my god. Don't hit the top I keep of the hitting the sides. <sighs> Things are hitting me. I hit that. Nice. Super lasers. Ooh, that I like. I think that's credited. As Really? Oh, here it is. Spread to your missiles travel in a widespread pattern. And then there's a one on this level as well. Spread one. Um, 2013 New Year's disc, but here's an update. Harvey joined me on this project and is starting to take shape now. Still a long way to go, but this looks promising. Um, it used to be called GTIA Blast. Then he changed the name to Atari Blast. And big shots. It goes. do run out, so you do want to keep picking up Do things. you? Because yeah. I don't necessarily... Oh, yeah, they do. Because it goes default. And your power-up is on the bottom right, and it slowly depletes. So you always kind of want to pick up that each part of that eye. Wow, this game is crazy. Yeah, it's frantic. It's out of control. The size of the game and how it streams off the SD card is the place that can only be played in emulation from Atari Max SD on actual hard I hardware, I believe. I think so. I think I read something that it. So dumb. Here we go. Uh, this is so hard. Something. Here we go. How it uses the Atari Max card. It makes use of two features of the Atari Max card. It uses bank switching to make the ROM make more ROM space available. It uses 8K bank switching mode where 64 banks are available. The game uses about half of those. Most 5200 games are 16K or 32K non-bank switch ROMs. I think there are only a few bank switch games. The other feature is it can be it uses can be seen if you watch the card before a level starts. When the LED flashes, that it is reading the data from the level for the SD card in memory. So it's going to do it right after this. Okay. A little light's going to flash on the cart. Uh, gotcha. You guys can't see it, but and it loads dyna memory dyna. Uh, there it goes. Flashed for like half a second because it's. Um, the run standalone, two runs standalone on the 5200. It would need a one megabyte bank switching cart. As far as I know, the largest scheme so far on the 5200 is 512k on the cart developed for Mule, which would have been sufficient before the horizontal levels were added. So, technically there is a way to do it, but there is no such cart. Nobody's ever produced a cart as of when he wrote that down. So, there may be a way. I mean, if, if the Atari Max can do it, then you can make a cart and just take out the SD card. It'd probably be very expensive. Hey, Toasties! Yeah, they're so cute. This game kind of is an amalgamation of a lot of games. Like, all the backgrounds are from games. Like, the thing you're running over. I just, I actually added a spring load SD on my Atari Max card. Oh, very cool. Johnny Wizkid's just not a fan of Atari Max. Eh, to each their own. S. Rare says, I have it on my Atari Max. Uh, James, do you have the Dragon's Lair file for Atari Max? No, I do not. The da DL movie was only available for a short time, and then the links for it just didn't work anymore, so it's pretty difficult to find. Oh, that'd be awesome if you could send that over to me. That'd be really good. Did you read my last big message? No, let me scroll up quick. I am not a fan of ROM. Uh, like, I don't want to send card put in and stick me out of card. I like authenticity, even if it's a reproduction. 
So what did you say about putting games in a cartridge? It's possible to get data and just make a single game on a cartridge. I'd be down for that. Have somebody make a label for me. That is a possibility. And I, the person who actually originally sent me this game, put it on a cart. It was... Um, it was sent to me by somebody who was around here in the early days of the show and then just disappeared. And he used to be active developing games. He used to do music for games. Let's play. Oh, no. Alt music. There we go. Another bug discovered by Tanya. Yes, I do find them. <laughs> you did. I'm I doubt that's going to be updated. It's no. uh, fairly old. So we have, which color did you pick? Bling, you just left it? Um, yeah, bling and so we'll normal to... type and rapid fire. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for our harder. So I think we played easy for the Atari 8-bit version, and I played forever. So we're gonna go for harder. Well, maybe not harder. Let's go for hard. Type game. Go. Atari Robot and Power Complex. My ship's all damaged and I can't yeah. move properly. It's all janky. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can find some power ups. Oh, it's all crazy. Oh no. Any power ups? Yes. Oh, lucky. Thank you for letting me know about the volume. It, every game is it's a little bit different in volume, so you have to keep adjusting it. I don't want to do the compression too much. That's bad. Come on. Back here. No! I died. Oh, no. Let's try again. Hard is hard. It down. Apparently. Oh, there's a black kitten. Hi, oh. black kitten. You look happy. Yeah, the alt music version mm -hmm. is in the forum, so you, you can... Um, Oh, no, I don't get you the DS. I hate the spread shot. Oh, no, no, it's not spread shot. It fills up your S, your speed, and your what? No, health. No, no, no. Doesn't no, it? No. It's no. I, are you sure? I don't 100%. know. I, I, I'll get it the next time. No, I don't think you. it is. I don't think it is. I think the spread shot is the II. But maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'll get the You're next wrong. S I see. And... I, I, I thought the spread shot filled up your S. See, it goes blue. Did you get an S? Yeah, I just got an S and it made this shot go left and right oh, crazy. Oh, I see. It's okay. terrible. Because yeah, you can't aim for anything. Yeah. Do I need to shoot some of this? 
Yeah, right usually. There. there we go. If you're not moving, then you have to clear something, usually. I like little black kit. These are constant gaming companions. Uh, oh my god, hard is hard. One's dead again. Yeah, you just take way more with the, with the hits. Yeah, I don't know if they fire more when you're playing on hard, mm. or you just have each hit. Brings you, you just down. take more damage. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> I've got almost no shield left. Need to get to the boss. Finish this level off. I'm almost there. In a heart. Oh, God. No. 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 Damn it. Heart is too hard. Did you do the alternate music, or...? Yeah, yeah, <gasps> playing the alternate music this time. Nope. You were the one saying, oh, you're, you lose it if you don't grab it, but you don't like it. No, it's so precise. It works fine. Like, now I've gone off the screen. Oh, just kidding. Here Have I am. Have a good night, Carl G. Good night, Carl G. Thanks for watching. Atari Blay? No, Atari Play. <laughs> Atari Blay. Blay it. Blay it good. Blay it up. Oh, there's so much going on in this game. It looks beautiful, though, I have it to say. It really does. So it's, if anybody it's thinks so fun. That the 5200 is underpowered, it is far from underpowered. Mm. Has massive potential. That's a nice one. Very wide. Really kill this Oh, that's a bomb. It bombs mm. everything on the screen. It doesn't last very oh, long. Oh, I'm much. damaged again. I can't remember them all. Ah! Damn it! Oh! Can I make it? No. This? Your shield. The shot is so wonky. Barely shooting. Because every. It's part of your damage? Oh, good. I got a heart. Yay! Get all the hearts. So damaged, I don't know if Get I'll make it back up to full. I think I'll fire up my 5200 and play Satan's Hollow. Good choice. It's not a good version. No? Oh no. It's a terrible I love Satan's Hollow. The the levels yeah. for the 8 bit um mm. slash 5200, because it's just conversion from the 8 bit. They're all screwed up. They're totally not like the arcade. Mm -hmm. They're all out of order. It's not good. Somebody needs to make a proper version. <laughs> yes! Destruction. Graphics oh, on it's the bottom, so nice! Mouths, is, like the it's R type. Um, yeah, this is modeled after. They look like um, Venus flytraps with their teeth. Yep, another one of those. 
creepy organic games. Ivor Tower. I wish they had made the shield work with the second button on the 5200 conversion of Satan's Hollow versus having to press down or up. Oh. oh, I don't like that. No, you do need you do need two buttons. Yeah. That is the arcade way of doing it. Like, yeah, it's yeah. much better. Much easier, too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the conversion is just like a... Bomb. Yes. Yeah. Well, get life. Yeah. It's so hard to get those things without getting hit by the sides. It <gasps> it's oh, so God. hard. It hard. So ah. hard, and they just ah. go after ah. you. Oh, I'm so damaged. I am so damaged now. I'm all I, I, this game, <sighs> this level is super hard. So wonky. I keep getting oh, hit because no. I keep getting wonked into the side. Ah, uh, no. no, you're so close to I need a heart. No, close. Oh, no. Dodge, dodge. Oh, oh no. Surprised you're still alive. Uh, so am I. I won't be for long. I'm getting hit. You're doing well. There's no hearts anywhere. Oh, my God. So many. Stop it. Some of these movements I'm not making. Because <laughs> the ship is so damaged. Oh, oh my god, I need mean, right. I haven't seen one yet. No! Nope. Shields are almost at zero. Oh, <gasps> oh that was lucky. Oh. Damage! Damage. <laughs> That's my favorite substitute <laughs> swear. That's great. Yeah, somebody may needs to make Satan's Hollow on something. Anything. There's not a good Satan's Hollow for the Atari at all. So you made it to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These guys, I just... This is Xevious. You're almost dead. What? Oh, because I haven't uh, got any hearts. I need a heart. Something. Yeah, this level did, is hard. There was no boss, so... Yeah, there's no magical... Oh my god! <gasps> Splitting off and so going after dead. me. Stop it! No! No! <gasps> Get it! <gasps> oh, it did help. A little bit. It did bit. help. It, you, you are correct. I need to shoot more things. Those find, ghosts. I need to find more things. I think I played it easy on easy mode. You know, you played it first on the stream. Because it made it so far. I just wanted to see all the levels. Mm -hmm. Ugh, damn it. No. No! Kids has question, sir. Very formal, thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, will Atari Age make more games or repros for the XCGS? So far, there's only four. I haven't seen them release too much for the XCGS, eh? Uh. Oh, hard, hard, hard. They don't release as many 8 bit cartridge games as obviously 2600 the most, 7800 second most, um, 15200 a year <laughs> at least by Ryan. Um, 8-bit? What? Oh, this is where mine froze, too! Oh, it's broken. Oh, no. Oh, well. We got to show it off. Oh, Atari wants to put my 5200 games on XC cart, but oh. someone needs to do the conversions. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Well, that's the natural stopping point, there. Huh? Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, we were able to get much further on the 8-bit one, so something oh, is something's something's going on. There. That's exactly where you die. I, it seemed to be the same point, so, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, there are, from time to time, in this last batch, there wasn't. Mm. The one before, I think there was mm. an 8-bit game. Yeah. Um, there are some, yeah. yeah. Just not as many. Yeah. Because it in the Not as... it's the history of the eight bit system that kind of lends itself to people releasing things as binaries. Okay. Or on discs because it's really, really cheap and it's not as easy to release on cartridge. Um yeah, Adventure Two. Yeah. That's right. 
Do I have it here? Yeah. Come on. There we go. So, there you go. Venture 2. This is uh, 2020, so it was two years ago. Two years. Okay. Cool. Um, so it, it happens, not very often, but it does happen. Um, just people in the 8-bit uh, communities tend to just release them for free. Like give them out. Give yeah. them out, give out the binaries, um, which doesn't mean it can't be put on um, cartridge as well. Mm -hmm. um, because there's lots of people like um, uh, Bob Dagger Zenzo mm. puts everything out for free, but he also puts on cartridge as yeah, well. Yeah, and they get snapped up like crazy. Well, people like having things amazing. on cartridge, and I think that's what Johnny the Whiz Kid is saying. Yeah, like would it would they port them to port the good games on XE? Oh, would Atari? H, do you think Atari H could port all the good games on XE? Oh Ooh, no, that's probably hard. They they Atari H tends to not port like commercial titles onto a cartridge. Oh, um, yeah. They do put games on cartridge, at least the 2600s, if you have permission from the developer. Yeah. Yeah. 8-bit conversions are another reason to have Atari Max for the 5200. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of 8-bit versions, uh, conversions made mm. for the 5200. That's the majority of them. Very few original games yeah. for the 5200. They're conversions, yeah. Yeah, they're all conversions from 8-bits. You, They've already been done before. But he wants them on cartridge. He doesn't want the Atari Max. That's the big no, thing. No, no. He, wants a he actual likes actual physical yeah, cartridge. Yeah. Yeah. So mm, there you go. It's a mixed <laughs> bag. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. It was a lot of good games tonight. Uh, excellent games. Yeah. Lots of fun. Um, let's take a look at games that are coming uh, up on the show. Let's reduce that down. Go to the web page. Um, so I haven't got anything lined up for Tuesday. Um, uh, right around not now there's a lull <laughs> during Christmas time. Yeah, there really is. There's a mad panic at the end of the year to fit it in before the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. usually off or busy at that point. It's true. Um, but we're going to do an After Dark, uh, next Friday. Yeah. That's with Darcy. Oh, uh, nice. Orbital War. There's a contest <gasps> for that. That's an After Dark after the game. After the games, yeah. Um, we're doing Vectrex special, not this Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. That's exciting. And we're going to end the year uh, on December 16th with Muddy Vision Secret Homebrew. Oh, very nice. And possibly even more stuff on that day. Yeah. Yes, but we don't know just yet. Oh, Something a surprise, or is it going to be Christmas themed? Not Christmas themed. Okay. We're not doing any Christmas this year. No? We've exhausted them all. Oh, <laughs> so we I should would... do a little after dark of maybe our favorite Christmas games. Mm. Can we do that? I've Some sometime over the holidays. Sometimes That's over the, the holidays. And secret extras, maybe. Yes, there's there's a possibility gotcha. of a bunch of secret extra stuff coming. Okay. So okay. don't worry. There's some more. I just needed a break. I need two weeks to do things. And no, catch no, up. I know, but we You're could like, do an after dark. Shows? No, no, we could do an after dark in there somewhere. Yeah, we couldn't could. We? Yeah, and just just play a couple of Christmas themed games. A Christmas Carol. On yeah, the <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I could bring out the Intellivision. Yeah, something, some something stuff. Christmassy, but it doesn't have to be is a formal December show. December fifth, the right day. Sixth is the Tuesday. No, it's not the right day. If the sixth is the Tuesday. Yeah, that should be this. That should be the sixth. Oh, I will feet. correct that. Yeah, you'll adjust. I swear I did before. Funny. I think I must have recorrected it. Yeah. Um. Yes. So we are going on break for two weeks at the end of the year, December, because I have a ton of work I need to catch up mm. on. Uh, just a list of things I need to do that I just have not got to. Mm. Um. So don't plan shows for me. I'm not planning <laughs> anything. I just said we should, if, if there's a... Yeah. A Christmassy themed one. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. 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 Um, and then in the new year, we have the ZPH interview about oh. us. That's <laughs> in the new year. Yeah. Okay. January 3rd. Okay. While you're editing, fix the lack of space between 2023 <laughs> uh, and Let's Play. Oh, there's, yeah, there, there's, you're Which missing one? a space. Oh. Yeah. It's a simple one. Let's do that right now. <laughs> I will not remember that. <laughs> I mean, I'll see it eventually, but... Uh, yeah. Those are the kind of things that... There you go. There we not? go. They're really quick to do, so... 
Um, so that'll be fun. We've got a whole bunch of questions, and she'll come up with other uh, driving drive me nuts. nuts. Today. Drives <laughs> me nuts when I see it too. But I'm yeah. copying and pasting and moving things all yeah. over the place. Yeah. So they inevitably get all messed up. Oh, S. Ramirez is on vacation themselves. Well, ah, have a good Christmas. And most people are busy. Holiday vacation. They're not watching the show. I've learned that. Well, people don't watch it in the summer either. They're all out in the sun I, and being busy. But I swear, after Christmas, in that little break between Christmas and New Year's, there's a lot of people around. Uh, true. I it's it's the the lead up to Christmas and around New Year's, but in that break, sometimes people are maybe maybe looking for an excuse to uh, true sit in a room by themselves away from all their family who are visiting well, them. <laughs> there may be there may be another show. At okay. the end of the year. Okay. Very, very, very special show. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it happens. Yeah. What floppy disk do I need? I'm sure there's lots of versions out there, but I need the right one. Asking the wrong person. I have a floppy drive for the 8-bit system, but yeah. I don't have any disks. I'm never going to get disks. Mm. It's just too... It's, it's too... It's pointless at this point. You prefer the cartridge or to put it on the... Uh... It's SD cards. They load up quick. Yeah. They're much easier to manage. I don't need to format discs and have mm. a stack of them. Mm. I have a, hundreds of Commodore 64 discs. I that's, know. That's enough. <laughs> um, definitely ask in the forum, Johnny the Whiz Kid, about which uh, floppy drive and floppy disks you need. There's mm. different densities. and You can flip them over and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, ITC says, I've got floppy drives as well, but they don't work and never wanted to mess with them either. Maybe another show, do tell. Yeah. Right? It's pretty good. <laughs> um, but I need 100% confirmation before we do it. Gotcha. Um, but you will want to tune in. I will let everyone know, of course. Okay. Um, but I don't know when. I will know when, whether or not it will happen. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to happen, I'm pretty sure, just mm -hmm. because of circumstances. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to do Vectrack Special. I'm looking forward to that. I'll have to set up my uh, camera to do that, mm -hmm. uh, to point at the Vectrax. Mm -hmm. That'll be cool. Uh, thank you, Rendered Ghost. Uh, thank you for watching. And Johnny the Whiz Kid and S. Ramirez, Ivory Tower Collections, who made it all possible with this awesomely upgraded 5200. <laughs> it looks impeccable. Yeah. It like, looks amazing. Oh, you're very welcome, Johnny the Whiz Kid. Uh, yeah. Chelsea Donnie Mao, RC7E, S. Ramirez, Every Phaser tower. Cat Games, a big thanks. Thank you. To Ryan for making Wonderful. all these amazing, amazing games. Yeah. I enjoyed all of them. Yeah, yeah. They're really, really classic. good choices. They feel very classic arcade games. I like them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll have to play his other two games that we haven't played yet. Okay. And yeah. on another show when yeah. we have the uh, 5200 out again. There's not many homebrews that are just on the 5200. I'll have to keep looking. Um, who else? Atari 2600 dude, watch Chitlit La. Uh, who else? Names, names. Rendered oh. Ghost. Raids. Johnny the Whiskey says, Want to raid someone? Then RC70 says, Raids get us channel points for treat time. I didn't know that. If we raid somebody else? Really? I didn't know. I didn't we know have that. not played with the raids too, too much. No, uh, I do have it set up. Let's see if anybody's <sighs> playing some retro games. And I yeah. I can send you all over there. Did we get through the names, though? Yeah, yeah. I think we did. Uh, oh, Carl Beer Pocock. G. Beer Mike Pocock. Soul jumped in there, too. Mo2277 said one thing. Yeah, but thank you. Thank you. Mike Soul. Pseudographics. And everyone else who watched that are no longer and all the out. lurkers. Uh, <coughs> raids mean we send all of you guys over to another channel to watch because we're done. So why yeah. not send you to a relevant one? So you get one. bounced over, and if you don't like it, you just you click just away. click away. Uh, they're all NES and newer, of course. <laughs> I don't all see these anything young kids thinking that's right. <laughs> it's retro for them. Uh... We're like super retro. We are super retro. Uh, oh. A whole bunch of Mega Man stuff, of course. <laughs> uh, things like... Uh, I don't know. Zari Arena is really cool with two TBs. What? Zari Arena. Two trackballs. Oh. I have zero trackballs. <laughs> so, um, does anybody know awesome. really quickly... Can you use a 2600 trackball on a 5200 with any kind of conversion? Like, yeah. like this, does it, 
Does it send through the information you need? No. It says every tower. No. No. Nope. Nothing works. No trackballs. You have to. Host you stay on ZPH, but see another stream. Yeah. Yeah. Raids, you get transferred. 2,600 trackballs aren't really analog. What about the actual trackball? Like trackball trackball. Mm. Where... Are they not really analog? Because there's the joystick emulated trackball, but then there's the other one that is a trackball trackball. Mm. But I, I guess they act completely differently than the analog joysticks work here. I can't really see. I'm just going to send you guys to a random place. That looks kind of retro. <laughs> I don't know. That, Friday Night Arcade? What is that? That kind of looks retro. How many people are there? 48 viewers. Friday Night Arcade? Which one? Where is it? Uh, the bot the right second row. Second row. Oh, he's playing beat em ups. No, no, no. That's <laughs> way too new. Fifty two hundred trackballs analog. It just has a very narrow range. Okay. Well, uh, thank you everybody yeah. um, for tuning in. Let me set up this raid here. Uh, raid two. I'm gonna send you to that one. You can set it up, but you don't go yet, right? You oh, I see. I see. Yay, right time. <laughs> yeah, we'll send you over, but uh, not before we sign off. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, really fun inaugural 5200 show. I have it ready. The only thing I'm missing is the links, but it's coming soon. Yay. And I'll have the whole range except for ST, which I'll never get. So. Uh, yeah. Because uh, that's just too advanced. <laughs> it's too advanced for me. Um, so have a great weekend. Yes. Say bye, cats. Bye, yeah. cats. Meow, meow. And uh, we'll see you back here on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye.